Okay, and we're live. Live from various places on Earth, it's Sunday night. <laughs> okay. I'm starving. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, I'm going to give one second here just for like a couple of people to realize that we're streaming. Um, all that good stuff, getting ourselves situated and making sure I am in fit indeed actually live. After what happened to Bad Hair Game the other day, I'm kind of paranoid about that. Oh man, I don't even want to talk about it. Because you were like, I'm streaming according to me, and all we're all like, no, you're not. It was like five minutes in streaming, and it's like, you nope, still not live. Not sure what's happening there. Thanks, OBS. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it appears I am actually live. Okay, good. <laughs> as far as I can tell, at least. Okay. Um, switching up music. This is too too fanciful for the cutting edge postmasters of the universe. Let's get backing track. There we go. Get some copyright free metal music going on. Welcome back, everybody, to Postmasters of the Universe. All right. Uh, when we were last time doing postal deliveries, as everyone in Dungeons and Dragons does as part of High Fantasy Realms, um, death and dismay happened. It was beautiful. Um, you guys went to the multi-leveled wizard's tower where you needed to make a package delivered to the wizard, but a rival post office uh, got wind of what you were doing, and in the most rational and normal thing ever, they broke and entered into the wizard's tower in order to intercept a package so they can deliver it first. They fought you on this, and you uh, got a little, um, little foobard by a fireball from the wizardly rival post person uh, and okay that's not not bad whatever you live through it and then in a room where there was nothing but a bucket and a rubber duck you also noticed within the bucket a small waterproof pouch within was a deck of many things um aka a players create their own complications type of item and indeed you did as uh, the person of course that managed to come across at first was the person of course that not only knew what it did out of game but decided is the type of person to always 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 draw a card um and it was with that character that you drew the um the death card i forget which one it was now summoning an avatar of death and then you summoned another avatar of death and then someone tried to help you with one of the avatars of death and then there was a third avatar of death and well things oh, just God. went south uh, one of you died to the avatars of death and meanwhile the original person Gwen who pulled the first card then pulled a third card and got something thankfully not avatar of death no their soul was ripped from their body and thrust into the multiverse somewhere Probably being worn on a like keychain fob for a lich or something. Who knows? And yeah, you just left your body. Your body's just there, comatose. Uh, probably gonna slowly die of nutritional deficiencies as you waste away. Good times. So as a result, two characters were lost. Um, Marjax and Gwen were both um, well of spare equipment for the rest of the party, if we're gonna put it that way. With that, uh, we kind of fast forwarded because we were already like getting past time. Like it was, it was a pretty long session. Um, and the last part, there was since there was no more dungeony or um, fighting bits, we, we sort of fast forwarded to you getting to the wizard and making the delivery. And that is basically where we completed. You made the delivery. He basically said, "Everyone, get out of my tower. I have more bodies to clean up." And that is where we left it. So. It is a, I'm going to say you guys kind of went and maybe deflated at the end of the day. Uh, Bakating, Orngoth, and Yui, at the end of this day, um, let me calm music for a second. So at the end of this day, you've just lost two of your, you would say almost like grow, rapidly growing friends, friendships. 
as they are part of your party, was lost to um, completely circumstances out of your control, I say sarcastically. How do you deal with this that night? What do you do to sort of cope with this uh, first brush with death? Um, I look back on the mistakes that the my previous party members have made and learn from said mistakes and uh, keep a well memory of my comrades as I set forth on my package deliveries. Okay, so you just, what, like, go for, like, a little bit of a walk or a stroll then and just reminisce? Yeah. Like, ah, yeah. all the good times, that is plural now, two times that we had together. I think about what would have happened if I stepped in and helped. Okay, so a bit of a bit of what if, a bit of regret, wondering uh, what yeah, else could have been instead done. Of, instead of being like a mouse in the corner. <laughs> Literally a mouse in the corner, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, and what about our last of the living trio? A little shaken up, I guess, about losing two more party members. She lost one more before, right? Lost three already. It is uh well one just kind of walked away. She's not dead. She's out there somewhere. Yeah. She just uh, didn't want none of this shit. Bullshit. Um she she saw a bigger and brighter future ahead of her. And then the others, well, I mean one one you don't know that technically only the one was dead. Uh, one is still technically in a coma. Technically Gwen's body is alive still. It is its autonomic functions are still working. Gwyn is still breathing. So, I mean, I don't know what you do with that. <laughs> but uh, Gwyn is not waking up. And yeah, side flash, you just, we like go to like this like otherworldly reddish misty realm and we see Gwyn pounding against the gem. Like, let me out! As it like zooms out, you see like this like grinning like... <laughs> <laughs> um, other individual in the background and then zooms back to your high fantasy city. So with that, we have a nice and somber night moving on to a new day. We uh, will be heading back to preloading. Uh, we'll be heading back to Flanberries. Um, now at... Uh, I'm not going to bother bringing it up yet. But we will be, um, I'm assuming you're still, I mean, you're, you're working for the Postal Service, right? You're not going to give up at, with this. You're going to steal yourself in the morning, and you're going to head back to Flanberries, and you are going to get your next delivery, Goramit. And with that, you wake up in the morning. He has, he has <laughs> mail on his hat today. He has what on his hat? Mail. Oh, mail. Oh, okay. Mail logo, mail logo on his hat today. Oh, oh, you're getting in, like, you're... Oh, oh, on on him? Oh, that was already there. Uh, I did, however, change up the types of lights, lights on his nipples. One's now a super yeah. a sparkly disco ball shiny, and the other one's just fire. Um, I like the disco ball one better. Me too. Me too. All right. Um, so, yes, you get there, and your... Um, sort of, I want to say guide, I guess your middle manager that's in in charge of you, guy, uh, Radithur the Sorter, is of course meeting you as normal in the morning. It looks like he is there with a floating um, horn of coffee. Type of horn you'd like be drinking meat or something out of, but you can definitely see it steaming with a coffee smell coming out of it. And uh, he, he welcomes you and says, Oh, hello! How did yesterday's delivery go? I see we're missing two. They died. Oh. Oh. The, the, like, died, died? Yes. But, like, never That's coming back. Benito. Oh. Well, I mean, it is the post office, after all. <laughs> uh, still always sad. That? Well, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, I mean, wow. It's, 
Yeah, okay. Well, this, um, your team is a bit short-handed. Uh, thankfully, through pure hack of happenstance and not plot threads whatsoever, two more people have applied and been hired today. I was just going to make them continuously clean out th the washrooms, but you know what? They would probably be better off suited on your team, I guess, if you're missing a couple of spots. We'd be gladly to have them. Um, oh yeah, well, uh, first of all, uh, a, b a big boy, um, you, with the, the beard, um, come here. Um, well, do you, do you, would you mind introducing yourself? Oh, hello. My name is Dress Mill. Dress Mill. You'll, you'll never going? replace Gwen. I'm not looking to replace anybody. None of you will. I was told that, uh... You guys were having trouble collecting on some of your deliveries. So I'm here to help. We deal. We need to make some money. Some coins. I've been on the door watch for the militia for 37 years, so... If anyone's gonna stop someone, it'll be me. Can you bring her back? I can't bring anyone back. I can send people there. Oh. <laughs> So bloodthirsty. Huh, maybe you did belong cleaning toilets, but nevertheless, you're on this team now. Um, what was that? Okay. All right, and uh, well, th thank you uh, for joining them. Of course, um, they could definitely use, uh, I'd say, a little more uh, muscle. I mean, you seem to be a pretty big boy, one way or another. Um. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, and, and you, uh, Mr. Blue Dude, uh, do you, you want to come over here and introduce yourself? Oh, sure, man. What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm hey. Toma. He takes, like, a big, big swig of a bottle that he just, just pulled out of nowhere and goes, How's it going? I just, I just got fired from my last job. I kept drinking. I was supposed to be bartending. Uh, but this male dude said that he was looking for some spots, so, uh, <laughs> here I am, bro. Anybody want anybody want a sip? And he'll just, like, offer the bottle. I'll take it with uh, my trunk. Thank you for take the follow the there, horses sit down on the ground. Horses? Horses? I don't know. Righteous, bro, righteous. Uh, so, uh, who's holding? Just oh, ask no. who's holding. I don't know. Yeah. What does he mean by that? I think he means the drugs. Oh, well, <laughs> we don't have any drugs. Um, uh, we have well, mail to deliver. Well, that's a bummer, bruh, but I guess that's the gig. No, 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 be doing hallucinogenics or psychoactive drugs on the jobs. Uppers only. Oh, so the boss is holding. Cool. We'll talk later, bruh. We can die, but we can't do drugs on this job. Just not the hallucinogenics. Uppers only. We're responsible business. I mean, you don't want to fight fake monsters, do you? <laughs> we have enough problems with illusionists already, thank you. Oh, the illusionist plague of 72. I just don't think it's fair. Anywho... Um, let me post office. Let me just check something here. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, talking with him after all. Let me get you set up on a board here, and we're going to do something. I'm going to say what? I like something. A little something, something. Okay. All right. So here we are back in your disheveled, disconcordant, and very messy, discombobulated male center. Um, bits of mail everywhere. Um, you can see actually Jack, um, Mr. Striker, sorry, Lance Striker, 
off in the side. He is doing that usual cool guy, sort of leaning up against the wall, like one foot up against the wall. His wind, there's a slight rustling in his blonde hair, despite it being absolutely still in here. Um, and he is, of course, smoking some sort of something within a tube-shaped piece of plastic, um, piece of paper, because that way he is 30% cooler. And he's just there, and he gives you a scowl. He's like, ah, newbies. Uh, that guy looks cool. I bet he fucks. Newbie, he's nice. He like gives a scowl and like as he like pushes his coat back you see um you see a firearm on one hip and on the other hip it looks like he's he's somehow fashioned some sort of postal badge despite the fact you've never seen anyone else in this organization carry a badge of any kind um he himself seems to have a badge clipped on his belt yeah whatever what, are you, so a cool. cop? what is he? He's fucking edge cop. <laughs> He's a fucking guy. You bring people in for not paying their postage, do you? I do what needs to be done. No matter what the boss says, I'll do what I need to do. I'll kick ass if I have to. Well, how about you do it? Doesn't seem like you're doing much standing here. And once again, from usual, from the office that you always hear that yelling coming from, um, you hear Mr. Flanberry yelling, Damn it, Lance Striker! Again! Get in here right now! Ah, oh, the old bastard wants it again. Looks like, gotta, looks like that's what you gotta go do. That's the last time I blow up a building just to deliver the mail. Ah, no, it's not. He like goes in. That guy's cool. <laughs> no, he's not. That guy is a tool. Can yeah. I, can I can I roll to see if this guy is cool? You what? What do you uh? Roll an insight, I guess. Go ahead and roll an insight for me. Uh, you know this is the coolest motherfucker on the planet. There's there's yes. nothing uh, bad about him or two sided or anything like that. This this guy just drops the temperature of a room. He's that cool. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, he is hip. He is rad. He is totally tubular. He is everything. Totally totally tubular. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah, is. He's yeah, everything an an eighties action cop movie would need. You can't change my mind, man. That guy's cool. And yeah, you do cool. hear a yell from the other room, like "Damn it, Striker! Three thousand golden damages again for a love letter." If he was cool, he wouldn't be costing the boss so much money. And I'll put my ear to the door to hear the whole conversation. Okay. And he Oh, all right. Uh, I mean, they're just, it's a lot of back and forth. Like, you don't understand. You weren't there. They wouldn't let me deliver the letter. There was this lady. She's like, this isn't your property. You don't know the buzz code. I showed that lady the buzz code. <laughs> Striker, 15 dead. I delivered the letter. That guy's cool as fuck. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Inside check on Puma, bro. <laughs> He's fucking mine. All right, go go ahead and roll an insight. Like, what, what's going on here? Where is it? Skills. It's a skill, yeah. There we go. It's about the same exact number. You know what? Puma's probably one of the smarter guys you've met in a while. And, you know, oh, his boy. enthusiasm. You know, sometimes you just, you like join a new group of friends or like you've, you've gone into a group of friends. And they're all really excited about something, so you kind of get caught up in it. And you're like, oh shit, this Lance Striker guy, you know what? He's kind of cool. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Got my finger on the pulse, bruh. I, I guess you're right. He is pretty cool. I mean, yeah, the name itself is just... And you do hear from like the other room as you were listening to the conversation, you hear a, this is the postal office. This is serious. This is <gasps> boss, get down. Um, and then there's a, a smashing of the windows. I want to go in and see what's up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, before we do this, um, we are, like to check for traps. we are, <laughs> I'm gonna add all of you 
to combat. Oh, I missed, I missed some, didn't I? I'm gonna laugh. You like that? Just like the whole screen just goes into like an explosion effect. It's a burning building. And you two. And you. Okay, roll for NPCs. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing my dice these days. I have pretty dice too. What the fuck? Um, okay, so. <laughs> Uh, the five of you get to make your, uh, initiative checks. Go ahead and click on the little fist for the initiative, like, thing. If you scroll down, you'll see yourselves at the bottom. You can just click on the little d20 next to your name, and roll to see how well you're going to do. I'm gonna switch this to, like, my standard combat playlist. That's not spotted. I do not see my name. For... Uh, who am I missing? Bacchus and Orangoth are in there. Yeah, did you scroll all the way down? Yeah, all the way. Vista on the right. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Sorry, Dingus here. That's why I named. Oh it that no way. worries. Hey, we're still all pretty new at this, Dingus. Boom. <laughs> Dang, that's not very good. We just need one from Orangoth, and we're good. Let's go, Orangoth. Hey ho, let's go. Orangoth. Orangoth. Kirby. <laughs> Kirby! How do I roll here? Uh, so uh, once, fist, you're, buddy. You, once you're in the fist tab, you gotta fist it. We'll scroll, like, probably all the way down, and you're gonna see Orin Goth, and there's a big old D20 beside it. Just click on the big old D20. You got it! Okay, there we go. There it is. Oh, oh there it is. is. For all of us. Okay. Um. Beginning combat. An approachable intern. Uh, one of the ones that crashes through the window. Um, actually, oh, sorry, smashes the window. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm glad I only included one of these, and the way this is going to turn out. Uh, initiative is fucking perfect for me. Whew. I don't like that. Fucking perfect. I don't like that one bit. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, one saves for the fireball. The other one does not. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Flanberry had the less um, hit points of the two. Um, so, from the other room... This isn't very good combat music. From the other room, just as you're about to head in the door, um, you guys start, like, you look over and you start to head over there when there's just this... Boom! Explosion. Um, both doors what? blown open as this large explosion happens, both uh, burrowing from that room and into, like, his, like, secretary's room. Um, this just some sort of loud detonation fire everywhere. Whoops. That's the move. Q, thank you. He did he taunted on him. I was right. Um, why won't you let me? Whatever. Okay, um... Uh, yeah, apparently we've got some postal terrorism going on here. Uh, Radathor the Sorter. Um, he is a rather wily wizard, um, so he is going to do the smartest thing possible. He's going to be like, okay, here's what we do. And he turns invisible. <laughs> Orangoth. A lot, of, a lot of courage. Um, he has disappeared. Um, yeah. You do hear a whispered voice from somewhere going, Get him, tiger! <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know if I should just walk in there. You know, you know the boss's the office did explode. Oh. Um, but, I mean, it's it's that's up to you. Is, that is up to you. Um, I wonder if I have a thing to do. Put there. Uh, how do I ping again? Uh, I don't have a ping mod installed. Okay, Guess I'll just um, walk in there. Uh, really? Okay. Do that. That's right. That's thirty, right? Right there. There we go. And we're going to put one right in the doorway. There we go. That's better. Oh. 
So uh, there's turn. like blast marks. The wood has been slightly blackened. There's soot everywhere. And there is an active fire within the uh, wooden post office full of dry mail. So I'll just send my turn. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, that would be it for your turn. Mr. Flanberry um, is going to have one chance here. Um, nah, 20. Okay. Um, he is not dead. He is just unconscious. Yui. Okay. Uh, so how many hit points does Mr. Flanberry have? You have no idea. Okay, then I'll just run. I'll just run in using all of my movement to get right here. Uh, through, through the fire? Yeah, fuck it. All right. All right. So you're going to brave through the fire. Um, so go, go ahead and move yourself to where you'd want to go. And then uh, there will okay. be a saving throw. <laughs> what saving throw, though? Uh, well, I'm here all now. right. So there, you're going to go there. I'm going to ask you for a... Uh, say we'll say DC 12. There is a patating in the chat. There, you'll see it. <laughs> the game master icon looks scary. <laughs> oh, my game master icon, it just makes sense. <laughs> it's scary. Uh, oh, go ahead and roll the d20 world? in the chat. There, you'll see beside you, there's a d20. There you go. Hmm. You succeed. So, you're gonna take half damage, which is nice. Um, you take two points of fire damage. Two points. Not a big deal. To a commoner, that'd be like half his yeah. hit points. But to you, eh, it's so, no big deal. You're a hero. Yes, I am a hero. So I, um, so I see the fire guy. Is he, like, hanging out the window? Like, what's happening with uh, this? It looks like they, he, like, broke the window open with some sort of, um walking stick or club or something uh and then it, he probably cast it in the room like basically against where the door is and it was like that same fireball that pr like pretty much screwed over your party before a very similar type of thing okay uh and it's another one of the guys now... with he, it's not one of the guys with like the the masks over his face and he's like <laughs> Uh, okay, so do I now know the condition of Mr. Flanberry? Like, what his hit points are? Uh, he is, his chair is, like, flipped backwards. Uh, he's sprawled on the ground, and he is slightly on fire on top of obviously being, um, unconscious and everything like that. Oh, hey, Count okay. Monster Rod, thanks for the raid of the channel with a bunch of viewers. All right, let's see. Uh, let's the I want to help him so um and you definitely have this guy like on the other side of the window and actually you would you would since you're at the window you see her as well um and you see this guy on the other side of the window like behind his mask taunting and like <laughs> I looked at him and pointed a spear at him and, and I was like you're gonna get yours and I'm gonna use uh their wounds on Flamberry. Okay. All right. All right. So you didn't yeah. get them brownie points at the boss yet. <laughs> so um. I'm going to. I'm trying to. I'm going to plug it and then I'm going to yeah. use. So you can use the just the spell from like your quick things or whatever. Um, whatever. If you have it memorized. There you go. Cure and wounds. Four points of healing. Four points of healing. All right. So we're going to bring them to four. Um, and and uh, he is um, whoops un, un, unlocked him let's re-roll for him wherever the fuck he goes now uh, and he is no longer unconscious although he is still prone oh gifted a me. tier 1 sub Wait. oh you're so good um, he, where is prone where's prone he's prone at the moment yeah, he's prone alright so um, I'm get. I'm gonna like uh basically turn my attention to the guys now and i'm gonna just as a bonus action just entomb some magic stones we'll just okay. compare them okay so you reach down you touch mr flanberry sort of waking your boss up like come on buddy and then uh you uh fiddle with your bubbles for a while <laughs> yeah that doesn't sound dirty all right <laughs> next 
We uh, have yeah. this Could guy. I yell at them to be careful of the fire. Uh -huh. You guys can actually several of you, uh, Puma Subaru, Drew Smill, and Bakading. You can all see the back door um, to the place just burst open, and, and then like another one of those guys with the the mailboxes, like as a mall. Here, let me let me reshow these as we go through. So, um, the intern looks like that. Anime as fuck. Uh, the guy that just kicked open the door looks like that. Poor guy. Uh, and of course, some of you, Mister Incredible. <laughs> And of course, some of you are seeing like some of these these girls run, running around as well, um, fast as can be, I'm fucking fast. I'm gonna kill the shit out of them again. Uh, and actually, since the door's open, you can kind of see that she's there too. Um, all right, so going back to here, uh, the fair ma the fair minded male thug, it's random naming. Um, mm, he's gonna move in and. Oh, fuck. He's just gonna rush Puma Subaru. You're the first one there. Um, you just, oh. with this giant metal maul, he comes up to you and you just hear, hey, no, you know. Uh, yeah. Let's see if this hurts. Mega mailbox attack. Why are all of them like this? <laughs> um, and he hits you, armor class 14 for a legend 11 bludgeoning. Oof. Oh, I'm sorry. Speaking of which, we didn't never we never took the uh, bark skin off of me from the last fight. Oh, oh, oh! Where are you? Yeah, we made an effect for that. That's sixteen right now. Mm, why do you have two? Why do you have two things of armor on? How much armor are we are wearing? Oh, because we're uh, two in your inventory. The fuck? Okay, one second. Let me fix your armor. Let me fix this shit. They're both 11 plus dex. Get, let, let me get rid of one of these so you're not having double armor. Uh, and then we will calculate equipped armor. Yeah, because you should have um, just 11. Right? Well, hold on. I think I should have 13. Wait a minute. It was Yui that... Wait, who am I talking to? Oh, yeah. Yui, me. Yeah, it was Yui. No, you should have... Why would you have 13? You don't have a good dex. Uh, 13 uh, sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, I think you're right yeah, for some reason. I can't remember why it was me. that, but it was... Uh, we're just going to go with it. Sure. We'll look it yeah. up later. Make a call. We'll decide it later. Beauty of D&D. Okay. Quick, quick. What's with the ad cut hub? What do you want? Um... So, fair-minded fair male thug just comes up and thwack! Puma, Puma, you, uh, you definitely feel like, like a tooth just kind of loosened a little bit in the back of your jaw. Just like, oh! Um, and as a result, you now get to react. Bruh, I just started this job. I can't afford- I'm not even getting benefits. I can't afford dental yet. Uh, probationary period oh. suck! Oh, tell me about it. Oh, he's did gonna you? Take a, he's going to take a big swig of his drink and spin his metal rod around and, like, smack him in the face with it. Okay. Sorry I got to do this, bruh, but, you know, it is the post office after all. Oh, player complication. Oh, I didn't even see that get redeemed. You're right. I forgot to do the announcements for that. Oh, this is going to suck for you guys. Um, yeah, go ahead and, uh, metal bow staff. Oh, Is it just, like, the metal pull from someone's mailbox? <laughs> so you, that yeah. is, that is a definite hit. That's a 19. These things, these guys have super low AC. Um, that's gonna be three for, uh, three bludgeoning, but I'm going to, uh, spend a key point to Flurry of Blows. Uh, okay, the, actually, uh, before you do that, so you don't waste the key point, the, um, three bludgeoning is enough to take him out. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, these are, these are just minions. They only got one hit point. Oh. That's bitchin'. Uh, alright. Uh, so, sorry, bruh. Uh, now this thing in front of me... Like, right here... Uh, it's is a, that? It's a window. Like, it's, it looks like, a, like a one-way mirrored style window for them to see from that office space into the general area if the boss wants to sort of, like, stealth peek on his employees and shit. Uh, I want to jump through it. You want to jump through it? I can make that happen. One second. 
Uh, is it a door? Yeah, it is a door now. Hello. <laughs> Hello. The beauty of foundry. <laughs> so you just like smash. You do like that sideways body, like smash through the window type of thing. Uh, I'm not gonna yeah. make it cut you or anything. You're a fucking hero. <laughs> uh, twenty. Um. Yeah, if you use all of your movement, I think you're gonna stop in the fire. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, Which is uh, up to you. I just fucking might. Uh, no, um, <laughs> let me see here. I'm still learning about Tritons and not all of their stuff is just here. Well, you're uh, in a dry office building full of old mail and it's on fire, so that's the natural habitat for uh, Tritons, I assume. I, I just want to know if the spell is something I can do. Tritons get spells in spite of the fact that a month doesn't. Um, but it is an action. No. Um, so for now, uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to try and turn invisible like the other dude did, thinking that it's something that just male people can do now. Okay. Um, and then realizing that I can't do that, I'm going to end my turn. Okay. So you're just like, hey, fuck. Uh, bummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You concentrate, you pull real hard and like all you get is a and then that's <laughs> that that's about it um okay uh i'm gonna give you guys till the end of the round before the player complication kicks in i have an idea of what we're doing uh you can thank uh i believe quickwick for that uh drew smill well i'll thank him later you uh have been uh at work for about five minutes and uh i mean this is the post office this shit happens yes of course of course uh, so seeing that I know that the other male runner is up there, uh, I'm going to move myself up and I can't go out, right? Uh, yeah, you should, you should have 30 feet. You could like go, go there up. and then move okay. up five and you should be like right beside her. All right. So I'm going to beat her up. No. Yeah. It wouldn't let me drag and do it. Yeah. I'll use the arrow keys. Yep. All right. Boop, 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 and then I'm out. And then I want to show everyone what I can do with these big old arms and swing at them with an unarmed strike. Oh, yeah, yeah, you punch things. That's right. I, I made sure to give you an unarmed, I think. Yeah, unarmed strike. Okay. Yeah, yeah, unarmed strike. <clears throat> okay, good. Yeah, go ahead and uh, wow. punch the small woman in the face. Okay. You, you have to like bend down a little bit like it's one of those like from the gut style punches except that that ends up in her face <laughs> Yep. squats down and punch uh, her like street fighter a 21 hits her like twice so yeah uh roll your your damage uh, you're not wielding a another weapon or anything so it's the first one the bludgeoning nope. yep. um minimum damage but considering that's like four times what a normal person's minimum punch damage is that's pretty good uh, and that is enough to just, uh, no, not turn her invisible. Delete her from existence. <laughs> yeah, just poof, confetti. Oh, wow. um, <laughs> that is enough to completely take her out. Are you punching to kill or just to knock out? Uh, I mean, I was punching to kill. Okay, so how, describe how you end this person. Oh, uh, well, I, you know, she comes around and tries to swing at me, and I, I managed to duck around, and I came through with a right hook that put her head right into the brick on the side of the building. Oh. The, her whole head just everywhere. So like a bad uh, movie special effects, it's just this like really sponge thing collapsing on the side of the building filled with raspberry jam. Uh, and, and to backtrack for a little bit, Puma, I never let, they let you describe how you were killing the dude that you killed. Oh, well, like he, he went to like, he, like, he spun it around and went to hit him in the face and probably, like, just drove it too far into his nose and just, like, punctured his brain. Oh, <laughs> got it. Okay. So I had to give you your moment. I was like, oh, I forgot. Um, sweet. Okay, so you watermelon her head and there's smell and uh, you are you are currently standing outside. Is there any bonus actions you can and do want to take? Uh, uh, I don't even remember what you got. No, I don't. I think the only thing I would have had is like the grapple, but e uh, yeah, you don't really need that since she did. I don't need that, so <laughs> I'll just uh, 
I'll just stand my ground and end my turn here. All right. Uh, my way back to my friends. So, the strategic uh, mail runner. Uh, she's going to appear as well. Um, these doors burst open. Um, uh, 35 feet. Ba-da-da-da-da-da. They are fast. Um, so this one runs in. Um, Baka, you sort of swing around for a second. And all of a sudden, there's this like short girl there. And she's like, hey, how you doing? Candy bunch. <laughs> and um, actually, I guess it's a kidney stab. It's a... Uh, some bla- blades. Um, shanky, shanky. Um, wow. Oof. Oofta. So 24 to hit uh, with seven damage. Okay. I'm at 17. <laughs> okay. Uh, then the imposing male runner, which is the other one that's uh, next to you guys with Mr. Flanberry that's down. Lance Stryker being there. He still hasn't even drawn his weapon yet. He's just sort of like standing there, sh- like shaking a little bit um, at what what's going on. Um, and she's going to go. What does she got here? Yeah, she's just. Uh, oh my gosh! No, I've, I'm glad I kind of nerfed these people. Never mind. Uh, anyways, you're standing up, horse person. So she's going to reach out and do a thing to you. Uh oh, my rolls tonight. Uh, that's, yeah, that's gonna hit you for six slashing damage. Yue. Oh, joy. Uh, she reaches through, clears, like, the rest of the glass, and then just, like, stabs forward. Well, I guess slashes forward with her scimitar. Uh, Baka Ding! All right, I think I'm gonna cast Create Bonfire on the male lady. Create Bonfire on the male lady. You got it. An oldie but a goodie. An oldie but a goodie indeed. No, oh, we can get rid of the template actually. There we go. Uh, save. She does not save, so she doesn't heed. Um, it just it here. There's a, and then you hear, and then she just kind of collapses into the bonfire, uh, instantly charring. Um, since it's a fiery spell, I'm not giving you the chance to let her just not die. She dies. <laughs> and then before I end my turn, I pull out a marshmallow and roast it over her fire. All right. Uh, the pleased male runner. Uh, she is going to. Uh, Why do they, is she pleased? Do they have? Um, you know, she's gonna go here. She's gonna huck a dagger at you. Just she's like <laughs> over top of her friend's burning cart. She's like, <gasps> Mildred, no. Uh, oh, but the dagger like it goes wide. It goes a little bit to your left, and uh, you actually hear a bit of a startled. Uh, oh, that that hurt! As the dagger like oh, no. st- sticks there in the air for a hot second before like being sort of drawn out slowly and then clatters to the ground, going oh shit. <laughs> uh, cheerful male thug. Uh, he is going to go here. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Relentless male runner is already... She never got to do anything. And the last person to go is Lance Stryker. Um, he, ran a, he got a shitty initiative. <laughs> yeah. So Lance Stryker looks at all the fire around him, looks at the action he's been f- waiting for all this time, reaches for his gun, and faints. <laughs> uh, okay. I around, you gotta get the fuck up. Oh, um, shit talking. So, e- end of the round, we're going to initiate our player complication. Um, it's fun having fire anywhere, and you're in a uh, very dry wooden building. So, give me a second here. We're gonna spread this around a little bit. Hey, yeah, 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 do. Let's go. Uh, and a little bit from the bonfire that's there. Because, I mean, you, you, you've you got a fire going. Seemed like a good idea at the time. I knew this fire was going to spread. 
<laughs> Something tell me it would. And one more. There we go. I'm gonna make it too, too busy. Uh, so there's our player complication. The building is very on fire. <laughs> Good times. Uh, approachable intern. Um, does he have any melee shit? <laughs> you bastard. Uh, let's see here. He could do more burning hand. They have a lot of fire spells. Um, what can he do with control flames? Expand the. Oh, I, he could spread it even further. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. All right, yeah, this uh, this guy is he is gonna cast control flames, uh, and he is going to take this, and he is going to spread some of it into Yui's square so that Yui, you are actively in a fire zone. Um, I would like you to make a. You're just kind of standing in it. I'll, I'll give you a dexterity check. Uh, oh, sorry, dexterity save, please. Oh, uh, you know, here. Um, let me. I can do this smarter. One second. Dexterity save. Okay. Twelve. And as a reaction. Could I use absorb elements? You can. Yes. So I'll, t- I'll do the save first. I'll do the save first, just to see how much damage you've got incoming. Like it might not be mm. worth it. Eighteen. Mm. You only taken half. Um. So. You're only taking one oh. point of damage. Honestly, absorb elements will oh. literally do nothing. Okay, yeah, then I'll, I'll, I'll save it. Yeah, so you take one point of fire damage as he moves the fire like into your square. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty good, uh, Mister Flanberry. Um, he's surrounded by fire. Um, he gets up. He uses a movement to get up. Um, and then he he looks at you and he goes, "Yeah, you employee, get out of here." Save yourself. I knew this day would come. And he, out of his belt, he pulls, from his belt buckle, he pulls a little, like, finger knife. And then from his pouch, he pulls, like, a vial or something. And he just looks at her and goes, I'm not taking shit anymore. Oh, shit. Um, and then that's, that's a d12. That is the wrong one. Yep. And oh, completely no, whiffs no. anything he was going. So he just like reaches out to try and punch her with this like mini like small like hand dagger thing from his belt buckle, and you hear a "Oh my back, sir!" Please, you, you, you're putting too much strain on yourself. You just got out of a. a... No, I've got oh. this. I, it's, I was retiring in five days, anyways. <laughs> that's that's sweet. Um. Oh god. R- Radathor the Sorter. Uh okay, he is going to he is going to appear uh, as he casts a spell. Uh give me one second here. I didn't have a thing for him. Um Got to look up a specific spell. I think I put it in. Uh, okay. How big of an area is it? Uh, choose an area 30 feet wide, 30 feet long, 60 feet high. Oh my gosh, I forgot how big of a spell that was. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. We'll cast it. Uh, boop. Oh my. Okay. Well, he can do it so it doesn't cover everybody, I guess. All right, uh, so he wants to put the fire out, which he's going to, or at least in, in some of these spots, the fire that was there. Uh, and then we're going to second. There we go. Oh, the fire just like stopped animating. Whatever. Fine. <laughs> yeah. I don't it was know just what like, to do. So well, though. Um, yeah, it's fine. Probably less intensive for resources anyways. Um, anyways, in this big area, he does rain of blood uh, as it literally begins to rain blood from the ceiling, snuffing out the fire, but making the entire area kind of slick. And anyone that touches the blood, you can instantly feel this life draining effect unless you're undead, in which case it's nice. Um, yeah, good times. How long does That's this last? Scary. Uh, uh, oh, it just lasts a minute. Ten rounds. That's cool. Hey. 
Okay. Uh, that was Radathor helping. And then uh, this is Radathor. Oh, yeah. What was that? I think you left your mic open. Um, Orangoth. Hmm. Uh, in that case, I'll just take a jello. Oh, the go. fire starts growing. I don't know if I should go save Lance Striker or go help Baka with the other fellas going in. Can I go in I there and save fight. Lance? <laughs> or just leave him? Uh, you, you can do whatever you want. That's up to you. I mean... As the GM, I have, or as the DM, I have an easy job. I put problems in your way. I don't know how you're going to fix them. That's not my problem. I'll go in there and try to get him. All right. He's passed out. He's going to burn to death. All right. I can hear you coughing from the smoke lids. already. It's so, burning. Uh, make a... Uh, okay, so I will... Uh, let's just do this. Uh, bip. Or I could be smart about this. There we go. Bip. And then this. Eh, eh, eh. Sterity. 12. Now, is that a window like right to the north of me? Yes, it is. Indeed, it is. So, Orangoth, uh, there is a dexterity safe thing in the chat. Can you roll that for me? Just normal there? Uh, that is going to be normal damage from the fire you went through in the doorway. You're going to take four points of fire damage. <laughs> Damn, this is scary. Uh, but now, since he is unconscious, I am treating it as uh, manipulating an item. So you can you can just pick him up as your item interaction. So you haven't actually used any actions or anything yet. Which means That's if you, you want, pick him up. you just you just pick him up. He's just yours now. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like set him to the side. Um, he's he's part of you. Picked him up. Okay. Now just in my turn for now. Uh, okay, you also, since you haven't used your action yet, you could take the dash action and get another set of movement. I'm just saying. Hmm. Can I, like, jump out that window to the north right there? Uh, through a window right that's around. on fire? Yes, of course you can. Absolutely. Hells yes. And then I'll put Lance down on side. I'll do that. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need another one of these. One second. Jumping through a window from a fiery burning building. A hell's yeah. That is four points of fire damage as you do so. But go ahead. You, um, uh, here, I'll just put you on the other side. Go ahead and move as far as you wanted to get away from the burning building. I think it was there. It was 15. I'll yeah. Because you originally moved. Down. You went 20 feet there. So you still had 10 feet left. So 30 feet brought you there. And then you had another 30 feet you can move on top of that. 45. So you still have 15 feet of movement after that if you wanted to go any further. But otherwise, you are good. Um, so yeah, and then you kind of just, I'm assuming you've got like Lance Striker on the grass there. Yui! Alright, uh, so I'm going to basically stab the shit out of the imposable intern. Okay. I'm going to target him with my spear, Stella. Uh, oh, yes. Um, um, Stella, so all of your gear is getting a little singed by the fire, except for Stella. You notice your spear is completely, like, it's not charred, not anything. It seems to be fine in the fire. Um, all right. Awesome. And as you stab out, you you hear you hear Stella say, Ah, yes. More blood for me. Yeah, um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I do like the little, uh, <laughs> like I like the little spinny spin decoration attack. <laughs> it's a, oh, okay. Oh. And then, uh, uh, it's just gonna be piercing because I got the shield in my hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that is enough that he is, uh, he's, um, you don't have an option to not kill with with your spear, your spear as you stab him. Um, so it's gonna do the life draining thing again. Describe how he dies. Uh, so I pierce him straight through the neck and uh, the wood part, not the wood, but the uh, staff part of the uh, spear just starts absorbing him. 
Okay. All right. So just like right, right through the, like the solar plexus of the veining black sort of going up through the little bit of skin you see between his collar and his mask. And you hear him. And he's like sort of. I just look down at him. The mask almost gets like deflated and sucked in with him as his uh, shriveled corpse then like falls to the ground below the, the window there. Um, all right, and uh, I still have movement, right? Yeah, you haven't moved at all. Yeah. Yeah, so can I just uh, jump out the window? Wait, no. There's no window. Wait. Yeah, that's a window. a window right here. That's a window right okay. there. Yeah. Well, can I just uh, jump out of here and get behind her? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it would not provoke because you stayed within their threatened area. So I'll, I'll move you out. All right. There we go. Thank you. I do a little pony hop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get out here. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotypes. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Okay. All right. Uh, Puma. Sheesh. Um. All right. Puma it wants to try and stifle these fires a little bit. Uh, I am going to attempt to cast fog cloud to dampen the wood and like kind of like smother the flames. I like it. I've never thought of anyone doing that before. That is that is sneaky. I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, go ahead and cast Fog Cloud. I forget how big Fog Cloud is. 20 foot radius, and I get oh, one shit. per day, so I figured might you, as well use it. Yeah, if you fought in fog, basically this entire area. Um. Yeah. Uh. You know what? I give it to you. I'm, that's creative. I fucking love I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, Sick. It'll It'll take like a round or two, but... Yeah, it, I can't see why, because it, it would deprive it so, somewhat of air, but it would also introduce moisture and humidity. That would definitely save the place, for sure. Okay. Uh, hey, and, uh, good save. We're, we're gonna go... Uh, oh. It's like the waterbender managed to do this shit. Uh, here, we're just... 20, 25, jumping out the window... One second. Let's let's do. Let's just turn these into because there's a lot of window shit going on here. There we go. There you go. Now you can move through the window. Thirty. So uh, I'm standing on top of this dude's dead corpse. Yeah, I'll just move him out of the way. Eyeing this girl down like <laughs> you're in big trouble now, lady. You should probably just stop. Yeah. Uh. And uh, that's my turn. The Roos Mill. Uh, did I check the corpse of this male runner to see if there's any indication of who they work for? Uh, yeah, like, sure. Like, yeah, I mean, what the name of the other postal place is? Yeah, like you, you root through in, in her, like, side bag. Um, it looks like she also carries, like, a makeshift, almost like purse type thing in their purse wallet. Uh, and rooting through there, uh, you actually find a health insurance card for Happy Times Postal. Happy Times Postal. Well, they're barking up the wrong tree today. <laughs> In the right. sad times, um, Postal. Hmm. I'm going to run, take my movement back down in to the... Oh, okay, I can go like right here. All right, I'm gonna run yes, back I... down over into here okay. and try and give yeah. you know, Baka some help. Please? Yeah, right there. All okay. right. Uh, and I don't think that I have anything I can do because she's behind cover, so that'll be my turn. All right. Imposing male runner, so she's kind of surrounded right now. <clears throat> um, and you know, being just. A male carrier surrounded by enemies, she's going to do what you expect, and she's going to lash out with a weapon. And a suicidal impulse, because this is what exactly what they would do in real life. Um, Thank you. You know what? No. Her orders? Her orders? Uh, yeah, you know what? You, you are literally the biggest threat to her right now. Uh, that is going to be for another seven slashing damage as she, like, slashes out at you going, You'll never take me alive! Postal forever! So you you <laughs> frauds! The only frauds I see here is you in a hat. Oh, why couldn't these be dance troops? Um, <laughs> Baka Ding. 
Okay, let's see. I'm going to... Oh, she's covering behind the wall now. All right. I don't want to move through that, so... Let's see, how far can I move this way? Yeah, there's still a rain of blood going on. I'll go there. And then I'll shoot this other male carrier, the male thug, with my arrows. Okay. Light crossbow. Kathunk. That's a negative. Uh, so it, like it like goes. It actually goes through the window beside him. You're like here, like a as there's a little hole in the window. He startles. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, I will end my turn. Okay, the pleased mail runner. Um, you guys don't exactly see what's happening her, to her, but there's garbled screams happening from the other room. She did. Um, and Drew Smill, you're the closest one. You're the only one that would really hear anything. You hear, a, no, no, no. <laughs> and then you hear, oh, yes, you have chosen wrong. <laughs> And the only other person you remember being in there was the really beautiful front desk lady, so that's fun. That's uh, a sussy barker. Yeah, so a uh, cheerful male thug. Um, he's like, oh, time to get out. <laughs> uh, three, here, and he just, he just fucking books it. Man, if only I didn't miss. Um, there no survivors. Oh, there's there's one left. Uh, I'm not gonna bother playing this all out. Um, what would you guys do with her? She's she's a minion. Like she's got whatever. Uh, right here. I'll feed her to my spear. Wait, 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 wait. But but before you get, if, 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 I, I, I want to try and... you. Oh. <laughs> Well, no. Are we are we are we out of initiative, or are we still within initiative? We're not. We're not in initiative. Just, uh, just as as a group, what would you guys do with her? Uh, mm, Yui's okay, like so got the spear in hovering, and you I and see. in Yui's uh, head, you it, like you could hear like, uh, yes, you would consume a soul. I, I am faster than him, though, right? <laughs> uh, do do we want to have a roll off for this? Is this is this what I'm hearing? We might have to have to because I don't. I, I, I mean, she's got she's got to know something, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, okay. You to leave somebody alive, or well, how do you get the information? One second here. We are gonna have like a miniature combat here. Um, All right, new guy. No, uh, actually, it's it's off. literally just between you two. Like she's not even part of this. Um, go ahead and roll. All right. I just roll the uh, twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and. Just click for a new initiative. Oh no no! In in the combat tracker, just click for a new initiative, Yui. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, so P Puma, you're the first. So Yui's raising is that is spear, but Puma, you're the first one to react. Uh yeah, uh, I'm going to um, I'm gonna swap spots with her. Okay. Do you want to get in the way? Yeah, I want to. I want to put myself between between her and him, but okay. keep her from. Running you swap spots with her. I even let her like point. shove you, shove her through the window if you want. Yeah, yeah, okay. that'd be perfect. So you like so you, you just her like yeet her through. Her. You you. What's the opposite of defenestrate? Anti defenestrate. You like undefenestrate her. Never had to use that word before. You undefenestrate the postal worker. Um and yeah. <laughs> I raise my rod and say, I don't want to have to use this on you, bruh, but we need information on who's doing this. And on my first day, I'm not just going to let this go. I look at him and say, I don't know where the hell you get off, new kid, but you better get out of my way before I feed you to the spear. <laughs> Somebody's a little bloodthirsty. It's weird. Exactly. Types. Yui, it's now your turn. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, look at my spell book real quick. And I, um, uh, 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 
Um, you know, I completely forgot okay. why there was two things. I'm like, why is there a purple box? Oh, it's the next person in the turn order. The toy. <laughs> okay, I'll use a... Can I just walk around? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you can't I... walk through a square, but you could, like, go just south of him. He, like, she's, you know what, she's prone I... right now, so she's kind of... I'm going to give her... Normally, she you would have like advantage if it's like a melee attack, but I'm gonna say because there's like the lip of the window and everything like that, it's actually the opposite. I'm gonna say it's actually disadvantage to like try to reach to reach down and poke her with the spear. If that's what okay, you're doing. So, so I won't poke her with the spear then. Um, you do hear the spear going. Do it. 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 Stab her. <laughs> stab her. Put holes into her. Drain her. Um, I'm gonna use thunder clap. Is, could I reach her from here with that? Thunder clap. And, yeah. Y yes. And everyone else in my way. Y you could exclude them if you like. If you moved down five feet. Um, you'd catch part of the building, so there'd be some structural damage, but you, you could exclude, um, Puma and Mr. Flanberry. Man, you lucky Mr. Flanberry right there. <laughs> I can use it on everybody. There's, there's no way to get only Puma and her without hitting Mr. Flanberry. Yeah. Then I, uh, then I used to clap on her. Okay. So you go up to the window and you're like, clap! <laughs> okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so 13, uh, oh, here we go, here we go, I'll, I'll just remove this thingy for now. Uh, yeah. No worries, so yeah, just, you can, if you so want, when you cast a spell, I never bother placing the templates, you can uncheck that when the little box comes up and asks if you want to consume the slot and, and place a template. Oh, okay. Um, but the only person in the way of it is her, uh, she makes the save, I think she still takes damage, though? Or, or take, so she actually doesn't take anything. Um, yeah. So she, like, sees you coming up for this and then does that thing where she, like, she huddles balls up and goes against the wall under the window so it, it actually echoes over her. His desk splinters and hits the far wall, however. Um, you see Mr. Flanberry just go white and then red, like he's a fucking candy cane for a second, before looking at you going... We are going to have a talk. I just look angrily at her. <laughs> That's her fault. Um, yeah. Puma. I don't want to hurt my coworker because I'm pretty sure it's going to get me fired again. But I can't, let him, I can't let him kill this person knowing that they might have information we need to get our revenge. So I would like to use my other innate spell and gust of wind him into the wall. <laughs> okay. You went from water bending to air bending. You're like, whoosh. Um, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and, and gust of wind. That is indeed something gust of wind can do. Um, rope, wrong person targeted. That's fine though. Oh. Uh, is it really DC 10? Uh, maybe not. Hold on. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. You're still set on intelligence for your spell casting. Yeah. Yep. 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 I see that there. Hold on. That I'll just target and turn this back on. Just put a charge in there and reroll. Sorry about that. I was that, like, there's kids. no way that DC is that low. You're not that shitty of a caster. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 How? Why does that say DC nine? How what? is it worse? <laughs> what? Oh, because, yeah, no. That makes that that makes sense. My charisma is a nine. Charisma oh. would be my spellcasting modifier. Oh my god. Oh, because they're Fire. innate. Yeah, you're, you're spellcasting off of your shittiest thing. Okay, yeah, okay, so uh, he makes it, which means I don't think he gets pushed away. Uh, it still takes, like, it's still difficult movement if he were to try and move towards you, but he's still right there. So... Uh, strength uh, save I or be pushed. So you're, I mean, it is a horse person. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> An aerodynamic horse person. So, so yeah. I'll say, you can do whatever you want with her after we get the information, bruh. Need to chill. I don't, I don't know you. I don't care. 
<laughs> then obviously I don't either. And you're both sort of yelling over the gust of wind because I believe that actually that lasts for a while. Yeah, one minute. So he's still like, like over at you, you and you're like <laughs> yelling. You need to chill, bro. You need to chill. Who is this kid? There's like bits of oh, broken glass and splinters of wood and and like smoke billowing out as it's airflow happening. Just it's a good thing the uh, the flames aren't still there. I would definitely say that oh, he yeah. would there'd be issues. Would have made it worse. Anyone watch Backdraft? Yeah. Um, Okay, so, uh, Yui, back to you. So you're there just bracing yourself, although you can feel yourself sliding a little bit in the mud underneath your feet um, as he's just there, like, like right at you with this wind, like, cyclone thing being aimed at you. Let's see. Uh, could I yell at her and ask her who she works for? Fuck you! Then I've had enough, and I'm gonna stick my spear through her. Yeah, she actually like went up a little bit to say "fuck you," so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say like it's gonna be normal. It's gonna be a normal attack. She's Great. still kind of crouched, but not. Well, let me uh just do that, and then this, and then a little and bit in this. this, and then a, oh, oh oh you miss. What is your AC? Oh yeah, these ones had good ACs compared to the other ones. Cause they're all like dexterous and stuff. So she like does this like little weird pirouette spin despite being on her knees um, and evades the spear. And you can hear the frustration in your mind from, from Estella going, damn it, again, get her. Uh, if I already have magical stones up, can I just throw them at her as a bonus action? Uh, it's only a bonus action to make them. It is an action to actually throw them. Uh-huh. Well, in that case, this bitch got it coming. I, 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 I can't do anything else. Okay. I mean, oh. unless I could hop over her. At the start of your turn, you had to remake the strength save for the wind. Oh, it's at the start of his turn. Oh, okay. I thought it was at the start of uh, right every your turn. Okay, so um, yeah. Uh, give me one second here. I can I can make this an easier thing. It. What was the DC again? Uh, DC is nine. Nine. Fuck. All right, go <laughs> ahead and, and make a... Uh, oh, look, a 21. I look at him and I'm saying, I'm a horse, bitch. <laughs> yeah. A strong horse person made a strength save. Hmm. <laughs> uh, make me fight you. Don't make me do this. Just back away. Please don't make me do this. <laughs> I love that we have inter-party conflict. I've been waiting for one. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to swing on him with my bow staff, subdual damage. Okay. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to kill him. I'm just trying to knock him out. Got so. it. It's been called. If if you do like the ending blow, it just knocks him out. He doesn't have to make death saves. Oh, uh, oh that's that's a solid hit, my dude. Okay, that's, that's gonna be five. That's a solid then, hit, my dude. Um, I get my second strike, and then I get fury, a flurry of blows, right? Uh, uh the. I can't remember how that works. No, you you uh, either take your fury of blows, I believe, or the like the second the the second strike thing. You yes, don't have ex- you don't have extra attack yet. So if you do Fury of Blows, you'll get th- you have three attacks total. Otherwise, you just get one attack and then like your bonus action attack. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll you'll if you oh, do Fury bonus, of- action, bonus action to Flurry of Blows, so I get a second and third, right? Right. Exactly. You have to do one or the other. So if you do Fury of yes, Blows, yes. you get two more attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna Flurry of Blows. Okay. So you spend the key point, give her. Yes. You're like. Whoa, whoa. Hit, hits him with the staff, comes in with the unarmed strike. Uh, that Mother flip, bro. Hit. <laughs> uh, is that the right? Oh, yeah, that's the right bonus. Yeah, because it's, it's strength. And then, no? um... Actually, that sh- that's not correct. You should be able to use dexterity. You should be hitting with a plus four, not a plus three. 
Yeah, uh, I think your unarmed strike is currently set to strength. That's weird because I have the monk one. Uh, ability modifier. Uh, here, let's just like uh, let's just count it as finessable. Unarmed strike monk. So okay, so now it should attack. I mean, you still hit him, but now it should attack with your dex. Okay. Uh, and then the, the for flurry of blows, the second one has to be an unarmed strike as well. Yes. Okay. Do, do, do. That shouldn't have advantage. Go. Okay, last one misses. Okay, <clears throat> yeah. But now you're hitting with the right modifier. Yeah, so like slap him with the staff and then like come in with like a just like a quick punch to the face and it's like we can do this the easy way or the hard way, bruh, but one way or another, you're not hurting her. Uh, Alrighty. Mr. Flanberry is actually going to stand up and be like, stop it, the both of you. We'll take her, we'll question her, we'll deal with her. Um, Are you both going to continue this or are you going to both stand down? I'm going to hit her with my hooves. You're going to hit her. That's awkward. There's like a half thing of broken glass <laughs> window there. And you want to like hang your body half in and hit her. A little girl that's hiding no, on the ground with your him. hooves. Oh, hit him, him with your hooves. Okay, that makes more sense. I like that. Um, like I get hit with the staff. I like back up a little bit, shake my head. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to hit him with my hooves. Okay. All right. Uh, so wait, 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 wait. Go wait, ahead and make wait, an attack. Wait, wait. wait. Um, where is it? I oh, hear it is. <laughs> oh, attack! Damn it! Oh, that move, that move never. <laughs> this whole entire <laughs> whole thing, attack is. Just... This move has never fucking. Landed. So he's still like stirring the pot with the um with the spear, but then you see like Yui like look at you and just like this like sideways hoof attack, just like hiplish. Um, but it, it you um Puma, you just you easily just step aside. That it doesn't hit you at all. Uh, Okay, Uh, after you're done, Mr. Flanberry looks and goes, "Ah, This is supposed to be saved for my wife. And he snaps his fingers, and Yui, you're asleep. Because there is no save to the sleep spell. It's based on number of hit points, and you do not have enough to survive a sleep spell, even for rolls minimum. Um, and he's he because you, you, Puma, you were willing to stand down, he only does it on Yui. So, uh, Yui, you're asleep. End of combat. Oh. I'm gonna like. I'm going. Oh. I'm gonna cradle Yui up in my arms like a baby and like jump back through the window instead of being. I'm going to kill go this corner. man. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. With with that, he orders all of you out of his office. Um, he's with the. He's gonna stay there with the imposing mail runner. Everyone oh, oh. out. Where did Striker so go? I sleep ran. <laughs> um, or- oh, Strikers, uh, that, that's all uh, Orgraph right there. He's sleeping outside, so. <laughs> yeah, he's passed out. Fine. Everyone leave me alone. I will question her. Um, so with that... Uh, you guys all go back inside. Uh, Radathor's, I mean, he's visible now. He comes back and he's like, Whew, I'm glad we all pitched in for that. Ho oh, ho, good teamwork, everybody. Oh, wait, if I was, um, can I tell you? You went really robotic there for a second. I'm sorry, what's that? Can I take a rest? Uh, well, g- give us one moment. We'll actually, we'll be giving you a rest. Um, okay. But right now, it's just everyone's just taking a breather. There's like a couple of the employees in the back that were just kind of like commoners, like they're not wanting to do anything. Darkbane Von Doom Raven, she did nothing. She just sort of hung in the back and she's like, This is so boring. I don't even know why I'm here today. <laughs> what was that? Uh, this is uh, Dark Darkbane Von Doom Raven. Um, you met you met them when they originally showed up. Uh, the teenage girl that's just oh, here for a summer okay. job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she and she you don't know what her real name is, but she introduced herself as Darkbane Von Doom Raven. Uh, uh, she's edgy as fuck. Yeah, l- Lady of Shadows and Darkness. Girl, if you don't sit your ass down. Uh, and then. I'm gonna look at- Oh, sorry. Uh, and then there's uh, um, Salo there. 
uh, he's just in the background like, oh, y'all motherfuckers, I work in the most ghetto fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like some shit off Get Out. <laughs> <laughs> he, look, he looks like the king of Wakanda. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look at Rathor and be like, "Ah, oh, bruh, how many packages do I have to deliver to be able to turn invisible like that?" Oh, um, well, um, uh, many. Yes, yes. It helps if you don't get paid for it, so we can put money into uh, tra- training services. <laughs> yes. Can I kick in my uh, sleep? Um, maybe maybe little twitches. You're running in an open field. <laughs> um, yeah. You're running in an open field. It is it is a beautiful meadow. There's sunlight there. You hear like the chirping uh, of like crickets and cicada in the background. There's like flowers in front of you. And in the middle of this field, as you run towards it, in a big open hug, is your spear also rushing towards you. To crasp, oh, clasped into each other in a, in a big hug of love. <laughs> and then yeah, in the background, fear. you hear like a, do you believe in magic? <laughs> <laughs> so that's happening. Uh, anyways, yeah, so you're, you're all, all sort of crowded around. Uh, you're by the table. You've got Yui there. Uh, oh. And you do hear like questioning. Uh, I guess I can't close the window; it's broken. Um, you do hear questioning coming from the other room. Actually, I can't close these doors either. They are also busted open. And um, eventually, you you hear a garbled Arr! as uh, they off her, getting what information they need as well. Can I ask uh, Radithor? why like i understand on deliveries why people would try to maybe come after things mm-hmm. of value but why are they attacking directly here no oh, with, with their rival post office probably turf war well i found this health insurance card on one of them it says happy times postal oh don't think she's gonna be using it now i don't think so Oh, but that is good information. We now we know where they came from. Ooh, ooh. Should, oh, yes, we, we dealt with them before. Them. I oh. also heard a strange noise coming from the other room down. A strange noise. Oh, oh, that's yeah. probably just Ajat. Um, she probably dealt with anyone in there herself. <laughs> she gets hungry. She seems so nice, though. She. Oh, she's brilliant. She... As long as you stay on her good side. And uh, just a reminder what a, a, a jat looks like. A uh, glowing snake and everything. This like blue, mostly naked lady that hovers above the chair, speaking with, with, in otherworldly, like multi tonal voices and whatnot. Like, well, welcome, welcome. And every once in a while, you hear a have a good day. It's like this demonic voice booms out of her. She should be on our team. No, she likes doing paperwork, says it calms her. Okay, then. Uh, oh, yeah, and then you were you were smashed like a ketchup packet. Okay, there we go. Um, eventually, Mr. Flanberry and Lance comes out. Uh, Lance has like a bit of blood on his shirt on the side. It, like he doesn't look like he, he uh, got stabbed or anything, so it's not his blood. You look great. Yeah, well... Someone must have knocked me up from behind. You didn't even see how many there were. Whew. It's tough. I tell you what. Managed to take out like seven of them before you even got in that room. Was anybody in the room with him? I call bullshit. Uh, I didn't see no bodies, but I never entered the room myself. Oh, I took care of them. Uh, Mr. Flanberry just like Captain Picard face palms, just like, ah, whatever, striker. Okay, um, so? uh, what, wake, wake up the, the horse person. And then, uh, with my trunk, I slap him across the face. I don't know if you want to do that. He's a little okay. frisky right you get, now. You get, like, trunk slapped. Um, Yui 
uh, which which Yui is actually disconnected from the the thing. Yui, come back. Um, Yui, you... wake up. Oh, I'm come back. I'm switching computers because oh. my friend wants the laptop. Oh yeah, no worries. Gotta okay. do what the significant other says. Get that. Give me one sec. I'll be back on it real quick. You're, you're taking a hot second to wake up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Basically, yeah, you're a little dro- groggy and stuff. Like, oh, it hit me. Um, and you hear Mr. Flanbury going, "Yeah, I'd waste my spell on you. I only know one spell. I have to give her some of the Valium, and it's way too expensive." <laughs> Anyways, we'll deal with what I do with my wife later. Um. Let me just fix my chair here. In messages. Good work, no. everyone. Except maybe Striker. Damn it, boss. It's because you hold me yeah, back. Yeah, what the hell, Striker? It's because he holds me back. He wouldn't even shut up, Striker. Okay. Um, he actually like backhand Striker in a in a prime case of workplace violence. Hmm. All right, I'm loading in. I just gotta do that and join session. No worries. All right. Um, and yeah, so he, he, uh, Mr. Flanberry looks at you and goes, so we, uh, we got some information out of her before we dealt with her, not having any more of those happy time employees around. Oh, happy time. And that's probably the most cutthroat postal service around. They've consumed, I don't know how many other smaller postal services, just eradicating them hostily. Happy time. Those employees. Is What's there anything that? we can do to stop it? Um, with those employees. Yeah, well, I mean, they just, uh, from what I understand, most of them were a distraction. There was a. They went to take something from the back room. Uh, was did anyone go into into the back mail room? Like, was anyone in there and then ran out or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I saw a male. I took a shot at an arrow with an arrow at one guy, but he ran out the back room. Oh shit! Missed. Did he look like I'm he back. was rustling through anything at any of the counters or anything like that? Nope. I entered the room, shot my arrow. He ran. That's all I saw. Uh, Radithor goes. Oh no! Oh oh my! One second. Um, he goes over and he like starts rustling through and is like, oh, they've taken the last package. They've taken the last of the Seer's packages. Uh, I'm still asleep, right? <laughs> uh, you're waking up. You're hearing all of this. You're just a bit of groggy. Okay. Uh, I stand up like, uh, <laughs> like most horses do when they're in a the panic, trying to stand up from sitting down. Okay. Bit, bit wobbly, bit back and forth. Yeah. I look behind him and I'm like, I apologize to Puma. Oh, uh, don't even sweat it, bro. We all get a little bloodthirsty sometimes. I don't know what came over me. Radithor also pipes up. He's like, oh, we've all been there, kind of duking it with other employees. Oh, that one time we'd hire 13 new people. The gravestones cost so much. <laughs> Anywho, Mr. Flanberry, um, we need that package to to finish our, our contract. Um, they they don't have the delivery address, thankfully, but we can't do anything without the package. Well, we know where they are. Well, I mean, uh. You're just my employees, so I probably shouldn't ask this of you, but uh, I'm going to, or I'm going to null your contracts. So, uh, I need you to hostily break into an opposing post office, murdering whoever you need to, they, that gets in your way to steal a package back that should have been delivered to its rightful recipient. And you hear Bradithor in the background, go, you hear Bradithor once again in the background going, <laughs> Oh, this is the post office. Hmm. Aye, aye, boss. Uh, might we take a rest before we try and retrieve that, or we just got to get into it? You know what? These packages have sat here for thousands of years. Um, I don't think it's a rush to get it to the people. If you need to take a day, take a day. That's fine. 
Um, hell, I don't even know. I don't even care when you do it. If you want to work off hours, I will give you. I will give you guys approved overtime right now. Uh, wow, well, oh, yeah. cool, bro. Thanks, cool. man. That's up to you. This is the best job I've had yet. Cool, bro. Anywho, I need to go get Ajat to see if she can communicate and contact some carpenters. Um, he like looks at like the pools of blood and the fiery singes on everything. Miraculously, none of the mail seemed to go up. Just like singes on a lot of the walls and floors. That and every, all of his office furniture has been completely splintered and disintegrated. Uh, oh, and he see so he looks at Yui and he goes, "Yeah." The furniture, that's coming out of your pay. Whatever. <laughs> um, uh. Lance Stryker actually looks at you and goes, Yeah, that's happened to me before too. Don't feel bad. What the hell? You didn't even help. You fainted. I was knocked out. You don't even understand. Carry I on. was there before you fainted. Carry him out of there. You don't even know. You're new. You're lying. Get out of my face. And he like just like walks away, like slamming the door behind him. These newbies. Fish, what new fish. Chat. What a fucking chat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm assuming Puma, you're probably just there like, oh, he's so cool. Guy is so fucking cool. He's outside having a smoke. We have a weird sense of judgment. <laughs> <laughs> you said he was cool too, man. Don't even front. You that was before I saw him paint it. You said he was cool, man. <laughs> yeah, he was cool. He was. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to do a couple of things here. First of all, anyone can um, take a long rest if you want a long rest. Because I'm assuming you guys are going to have a little bit of downtime. Get yourselves all ship shape. Uh, second of all, the equipment that is in the loot there that you've scavenged from the bodies of your friends. Um, you can take whatever you want, and if you just want to sell the rest of it, I can just give you half of what it's worth. Yeah, I'll sell it. Sure. I mean... The new guys don't get don't get any. No, no, it's, it's just split between the three of you. It's just between um, Orangoth, yeah. Yui, and Baka. I mean, yeah, there doesn't look... Yeah, let's split it, boys. All right, Kirby, you're on board with this as well. Yep. All right, just split it. Okay, so it's it's uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna make it easier. We're gonna say twenty one. So we're gonna clear this out. Uh, oh, did anyone take the deck of many things from it, though? No one's going to buy that. I don't that. think so. Okay, no one is going to buy that. One second. I don't I think we need to take that anyways. We'll have them last time. Uh, I, I kind of want to take it, but... So give me one second here. That I will put back in, um, because... Use one now. Yeah, you're... Yeah. Um, actually, this is really easy, because I haven't deleted your old character, and there's no copy in there. Come here, Gwen. Where is your deck of anything? If there. you guys want to take the cards, it's up to you. I'm taking it. Uh, uh, wants to take you them. can you can also just store it in there. Like this loot can just basically be like your party stash if you want. So I have to open up my player stash, right? Uh, yeah, you take gotta like cards. if you want to loot. Well, if you want to loot it, you just you just open it up on the main screen there, the loot, and there's the little black diamond um, that you can click on in there that'll loot the item. There you go. Oh. Right, and this is this stash that's here. You can drop items into it. So if you wanted to store anything you didn't want to bring with you, that's like a party stash. You can you can do so if you want. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. yeah. So now you've uh, you've got a, a deck of many good times. Nothing but good stuff. I'm sure you've pulled all the bad stuff, right? Even though yeah, you can pull the right. same cards more than once, because it as soon as you <laughs> once you finish pulling all the cards you wanted to pull, they all teleport back into the deck. Gotcha. Not like they disappear. 
Well, yeah, because he pulled it the same one twice in a row. So. 16 twice. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, everyone can long rest if they want to long rest. Um, I am activate. Where Where the fuck are these fruit flies coming from? I like a couple of fruit flies flying around that's bugging the shit out of me. Okay. All right. Um, let me get you guys, because I'm assuming you're going to be doing a whole fun frontal assault thingy here. The new smell. Orngoth. Puma. And Yui. Oh, I forgot to do the long rest. Oh, well. Uh, you can still do it. I wasn't that burnt. You can still do yeah, it. Yeah, you can just click it. <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, we haven't, like, done anything. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. You're good. There it is. Thank you. I clicked it and yeah, you hit rest. I'm clicking long rest and it's not happening. Uh, here, let me click it for you. Rest and then the little pop-up box is in a new day and then you click rest. Here, I'll click it for you. There, you are fully rested now. Um, I'm gonna do this so it makes my life easier. We're on the ground floor. Okay. All right. Uh, I already preloaded and we're in here. There we go. So you guys should be seeing. Hopefully this works properly. Once again, this is still an experimental process I'm using for using for doing like the multiple levels. So if okay. there's we have some tech gremlins, I apologize, but uh, I'm, I'm experimenting. And uh, I didn't get all my experimentation phase out of out in college. So I'm doing it now. <clears throat> okay. Um, I didn't actually mean to activate it yet, but I guess this is where we're here now. Uh, is there anything quickly you guys needed to do before you probably went to go check out the place? Uh, no. Nah. No. Go right to Adam. All right. All right. So uh, you're, it's very easy to find the address. They are a publicly listed company. Um, and and in fact, uh, you guys go to get some information about them, probably to get their address and, and a little bit about them going just to like the records hall or whatnot. And it appears that they have officially declared postal war uh, upon your postal service from their postal service. Uh, you about to I get postal. I had to reload Foundry because I can't see anything. Okay. I can't, I can't see our figures at least. Uh, all right. Yeah, same. Oh, is yeah, it just all, uh... just black for you? Like if you go like all the way down no, to no. the southern edge of the map? No, you can see the map, just there's no tokens. I had to refresh. Yeah, I'm once I refresh, refresh. Over there. Okay. I can see all, all of us now. You can, oh, so I guess you just had to refresh. Okay. Yeah, I always refresh every time we change the map. Okay. <laughs> We'll give it, we'll wait for everyone to do a little bit of refresh. In the meantime, I've got brownies here. Ooh. Mm, they're uh, high protein, zero sugar brownies. A little crumbly, but they're damn good. What's it say? Push them through the mic. Push them through the mic. Baked goods are like my, my weakness, my kryptonite. <laughs> well, that's why it's a good kryptonite because those have protein. Well, with going to the gym regularly and stuff like that, we wanted to make sure high protein is always good, so we have like a protein powder mix in it. And it's no sugar, nice. but it's like a monk fruit sweetener. So it's pretty good. The loose middle can see. Can and is anyone still not seeing? Sask. <laughs> okay. Alright, good. Okay, so uh with that, you approach the building. How you want to actually finally approach the building is completely up to you, but this is this is the I building. Wanna, Do what you wish with it. I want to make a okay. suggestion, guys. All right, Yui, like, Yui, Yui goes in front of you guys, <laughs> and he says, we can check for traps, and we can also look through windows. Mm. We can uh, check I... the whole perimeter and look through these windows to see who's in this house sneakingly before we go in. I uh, I can't do it myself, but uh, I think we should burn this whole place down. You know what I mean? That's actually a really good idea. I have a tinderbox. I can create bonfire, and then oh. you got that little well, wind. We need more wind. fire than just that. Yeah, but then we can combine it with the whirlwind that he did. Oh, that and is true. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. 
Wait, before we do that. Down. Yeah, but before we do that, I'm like to check the traps. Okay. I use I use a uh, find traps. Okay. Um yeah, that uh that makes it easy. So go ahead and cast find traps. Here we go, casting a spell. Here we go. Um so you, you cast it, I believe it just uh, within what, 120 feet, as long as you can see it, basically. Um, within range, What's that is within line of sight. Yeah, okay. So within within 120 feet, which is, that's like the map almost, uh, but it's only yeah, what you can so see. Cool. So it's only in the front of the building. Okay. So um, you don't detect any traps. That's good because... Um... We're not going inside. We're burning this shit down. Well, yeah, but we gotta go inside to set the fire first. Oh, we could set the fire from outside. You you could, um, or like through the windows or something. That's completely up to you guys. Yeah, you could smoke them out. All right, let's do it right here then. Okay. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and cast my bomb. Oh, okay. I like to look around and just stay on guard. You guys sure you want to ask them why they were attacking? Post office just burned to the ground. They did declare postal war already. <laughs> I mean, that's right. Uh, Baca, so you cast Crate Bonfire just in the building or right there in front of you? Right there, right in, there front in front of you. Right there in front of you. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let me. I wonder Wait, if I still have this. I set the set this part of the building on fire with my tinderbox before he blows it. So it's just more fire. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it is like lacquered cured wood you imagine just just a tinder box which all a tinder box does is like a little bit of like uh okay a torch would be better yes a tinder box alone probably wouldn't set it on fire okay so i'll use my torch and tinder box or i'll just actually grab my torch and grab some of his fire and just put it over here all right uh yeah so you create fire there as well um, and then Puma, you're just kind of, are you just kind of like gust of winding the, f- the fires as they begin to the, the one from the torch will your gust of wind, your figure it will probably just put the, the fire out. Cause it's very like gusty. I don't think I have well, to. what oh. if we wait till it gets bigger? The, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. I, I, I kind of want to wait for it to spread a little bit before mm-hmm. I make the attempt. Cause I don't okay. want to just blow it clean out. It's pretty uh, strong. The bonfire however, being magically created that wouldn't put it out by the way, you, you would just like. Be, you would probably just, I imagine, spread the fire further. Because yeah, it's, a, it's like fire. an infinite source of fire, and then you're just, like, pushing it. Yeah, then that's what we're going to do. All right, so Baka, I imagine my, my... You'd, you'd probably see him idling up behind you in, like, almost like in a, like a windy Kamehameha. <laughs> um, okay, you hear, like, yelling from the inside. Um from the the front desk person which was another one of those like thugs of the big mailboxes and you hear fire fire all right could i do something yeah yeah what up um could i like make it windy or whatever um like make it like um Fuck, what is the skill I'm trying to say? I'm so sorry. That, that's okay. I can that's make okay. like a sensory effect to make it like louder or something so his voice can get drowned out or something. Uh, With uh, I think Druidcraft. Or Druidcraft. One of these I read though. Uh, like, you can create a, you can create a, a, a tiny on. harmless sensory effect. Uh you can kind of do, do like the like you could thunderclap if you wanted to make a loud sound with druidcraft yeah, it's, it wouldn't be probably heard. Druidcraft. Okay, so you want to you want to thund- I mean thunderclap. I mean thunderclap. <laughs> you want to thunderclap. Uh where do you want yeah. to thunderclap? Uh where I was at the window with the fire. Okay. Right over here. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm I'm actually going to say you kind of put your own fire out, though, because you're like, and there's just this wave That's of fine. thunder that goes out from you, just washing that bit of fire out. Your fire honestly wasn't catching too much anyways. It's not like the other side. That fire is catching. Um, yeah. It is, it is expanding. Yeah. Um, All right, so I, I, I cast it. Hold on, let me roll. Do I got to roll? 
Uh, Should we go to the side of the house and try to I cut just... them off if they run away from the fire? I mean, that would be a good idea, yeah. Two fly. Um, okay, this can, is this whole just... room basically is um, spreading fire wise. Um, I don't know if I can paste those thingies there on this floor. How it'll work with the multiple multiple levels. Uh, that's blue fire. Let's try this again. You orange? There you go. Uh, okay. Do you guys see that fire? That's yeah, like by Drew's Mill? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm still new to this system. I wasn't sure if it was working or not. Uh, um, okay, let's... Jet, I, uh, I gotta step away for a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Yeah, no worries. No worries. So we're gonna say, we're gonna say it's, it's spreading pretty good. Uh, anyone say, like, it started spreading that way too. Okay. Uh, and then we can get rid of the template, though. Uh, wrong thing. Template. Fine. Okay, so this room is, is definitely spreading, and because of the gust of wind that you guys are doing, and basically everything else, the fire is spreading exponentially. It is just, it just keeps going. Hey, um, uh, like Dressmail said, let's go look for the exits on the sides and catch them when they uh, come out. All right. Um, they're busy panicking inside. They don't really notice you outside as a result. Uh, I'm going to say, like, she's going to get, like, go there. She kind of opens the door. She's like, oh, fuck. He starts heading there. Um, apparently through a wall, which doesn't work. Uh, He's still just panicking in that room. <clears throat> I'm gonna say people are like that. Uh, back door, I see one back here. There's definitely somebody here. Okay. I, uh, Go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, uh, we're going to pause for a second. She definitely sees you approaching. Um, did you want to do anything as like a snap reaction? Because she was a bit surprised. Um, I want a magic missile her. <clears throat> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get everyone in combat. <clears throat> I'm going to give you magic missile as like the triggering condition. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to open you. You get added. You get added. You get added. You get added. Three get added. Should bring us, I uh, believe, everybody. I'll roll for the NPCs. Uh, you know what? Just make it easy. I'm just going to roll for everybody. No, I got to do my line. I'm roll for myself. <laughs> okay, so before they go or do anything, um, uh, go ahead and cast your magic missile. Okay. Damage. All right, and technically there's two more missiles. I'm just going to do this. It would, I'm, just, I'm assuming you're sending all three missiles striking into her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's ten points of damage. She's she's done. done how, describe how that takes her. I'd like she's done like dinner. She's done. How does that work? Uh, first missile comes in and snatches her right arm off. The second missile comes in snatching the left leg, and then the third missile coming right at her dead in her third eye, taking her out permanently. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, like, arm goes flying off. She, like, looks at where her arm used to be. Leg goes flying off, and she, like, kind of slams against, like, the door frame. And, and then one right through the forehead, in the middle of the forehead, just, like, like out the back um, before slumping to the ground. <clears throat> Perfect. 
Uh, male thug didn't hear anything. He's actually standing in front of the fire. He's like, oh, uh, 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 Drew smell. I'm just going to try and get a better vantage point to see if I can see anyone else. So if... He's right here. Yeah. You move up to like there is a 30 move. Oh, okay. I think I have my cursor hidden. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I can't see anything else. So I will end my turn and wait for my. Okay. All right. Uh, you can, if you want, there is um, a ready to action where you can like specify what your trigger is going to be and then take a, a specified action if that trigger hits. So you can be like, if anyone comes within range, I'm going to hit them with my weapon. Like that type of thing. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, then I guess that I could could set that. If anyone, I could get my, my double-bladed scimitar ready. Sure. All right. Me, you can... like twirl out this like double-bladed scimitar thing. Um, does that mean you take your shield off? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That would, that would take my shield off. Though. Okay, so we unequip your shield. Your AC drops a bit. I've unequipped it for you. Um, but, uh, now you can use your double-bladed scimitar, uh, which is cool. So you can make a, an attack with it, and then as a bonus action, it lets you make a second attack with it. Uh, welcome back. Um, and then, uh, you just, if anyone basically comes within range of you, you want to, like, fuck them up. All right. All right. Uh, unmotivated intern. Uh. Eh, eh. Still can't see you. Uh, uh. See, he like pops out. He goes. He sees you. Um, what does he got here? Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can do that. We can do that. Uh, first one does not work. How many rays do we get with Scorching Ray again? Is it two or three? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Three rays. Okay. So he's like, he's almost doing like a magic missile thing. It's except it's three rays of fire. Mm. Um, that he actually has to hit with. Oh, uh, that one hits. So 12 points of fire damage on the second one. Gosh. And okay, so two misses, but he did hit you with one of them. Uh, and yeah, he just like laser, like special beam can into your face. Hmm. And that is the end of him. Uh, Auntie Mail Runner died immediately before she even knew anything was happening. Puma Stubawoo. Oh, okay, so we, we can't see the action from here no nope. yeah, there's just the gusting of the yeah. wind that you were doing and then like the fire is going you do hear one guy in, in the room going oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, but other than that they haven't really done anything overly loud magic missiles are fairly silent even the, the scorching rays maybe a bit of a sizzle but there hasn't been anything overly loud from over there Five thirty. Uh, take the dash action. Okay. And Fifteen um, through the window, please. Uh, yeah. Oh, here. Let me let me make the window a door. Oops. Uh, is a door. Is a door. I love how I can't see what's going on because we're on the, like the back side. Mm -hmm. It's it's right. nice because you have to hear the description of what your friends are saying. Be like, oh god, I can't see it. It's really nerve-wracking. I used to play a character that like, used to close the door all the time and like hide in the closet and everything's black and I'm just like, I can hear bad things. <laughs> um, now, now that I'm in here, do I see anything that might indicate a place where they might store packages until they're delivered? Um, this place is much neater than your place, you've noticed. Uh, everything is neatly aligned on the tables, well put out. It does look like there's a tagging system by area. Um, this whole area seems to be the package sorting from your vantage point. Uh, there also seems to be some sort of mail storage, um, on the, st up the stairs up above you to the east. Also, you okay. think you see the railing for a staircase to that northwest of you. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, object interaction. I'm going to pull out a torch. Okay. I don't know why it's only one. I feel like it, the starting kit gives you more than one. But yeah, it gives you ten. You should have ten. I should have ten. That's what I figured. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pull out one, but I'm assuming it's still going to take an action to light it. Uh, it is uh, item interaction to pull it out, but yeah, it's a, it is an action to light it. Yeah. Perfect. Then that's my turn. Okay. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, since the gust of wind is what kind of catapulted the fire into doing its thing, that is when I'm having the fire spread itself. Um, so it is now beyond starting to creep beyond this door as the the door was opened by somebody. Oh, lovely. That's going to um, make life much easier. I was about to say, I think we might have made this a lot harder than we needed it. I'm surprised you didn't set fire to it after you rescued your package, but I'm just the GM. <laughs> you know, hindsight 2020, I guess. Uh, and we're, we're going to get one, one more here. All right. All right. Uh, I mean, from what, we've, from what we've seen, the packages and like mail and stuff is pretty much indestructible. So while everyone else will die in here, the package should be fine. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> there's 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 a cat up on a shelf. You definitely see, see that sees the fire and like scurries out. Um, I think uh, you can actually. I think you can actually see the cat from where you are. <clears throat> okay. Um, Baka. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Um, I'm going to. Can I, I can hit him from with a crossbow from that distance, right? Oh yeah. Oh easy, easy. Yeah. Perfect. We're gonna do the crossbow. <clears throat> yeah, you are. And we're gonna. Uh. Okay. Uh, that is going to do take him out as well. Good. Uh, describe. So how does how does it take him out? Needs more fire. Uh. As I sit there and aim and load the crossbow, I take focus and aim right in between to where his heart would be, but I miss just directly and pierce his lung and just watch him gasp for air. Oh, he's already wearing a breathing mask. Um. So yeah, there's like final scenes with Darth Vader lo- levels of like. <gasps> In the background. <laughs> Meanwhile, Just Mill just sits there watching and looking. <laughs> like, wait for still, it. I can still make my moves, correct? You can still move, yeah. Okay. So. I'm just, I'm actually just going to delete these guys off the board. Storm the gates. I only moved half my movement, I think, but that's all right. Uh,. Yeah, not not even. I think you only moved like ten feet. I think you were like right here. Yeah, it like stopped me. Oh uh, yeah, like... sorry. That's it's when I deleted the guys. Uh, you can move like there. Oh, okay. I think. Any anywhere in that row, if you want to keep moving. Oh, yeah, that's why it it changed the it changed the turn order. Okay, you can move again. <laughs> oh, my God. When I deleted Dry. them, it like a- escalated the turn on me. Gotcha. All right, and then I will end my turn there. Okay. All right. Um, short mail runner. Well, she just watched like friends of hers leave through this door and then fucking eat it. So, uh, she's actually heading this way, thinking she can uh, run to a window and then sees Puma, realizing that they are getting invaded. Uh, hey, little dude. Uh, with that, she is going to huck a dagger at you. Uh, wow. Even hits you with disadvantage. Okay. Can I try to deflect missiles, or will it not work with a thrown knife? Yeah, it should work. Yeah, any anything range that comes in, I can't see why it wouldn't. I know the wording's a bit weird, but I, I think it should work. <clears throat> Uh, go ahead and roll your deflect missiles die. Uh, yeah. I don't know why there's a, an attack thing rolled on there. It's just the D10. Okay. Yeah, you um, you you basically catch it. So I believe you, if you d- get it to zero, you auto catch the the item. Um, and I uh, I think you get it right away. It's where you can like spend a key point to throw it back. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think that's a thing you get right away. If you reduce it to zero, you catch the missile. Yeah, if you catch the missile, you can spend a key point to make a range attack with the weapon or piece of ammunition you caught as part of the same reaction. 
Uh, ah, you dumb you, you make this attack with <laughs> proficiency. So, so basically make an attack as if use one of your other weapons. It doesn't matter. Just one of the ones you're proficient with. Um, and it's, it would be, we'll, we'll use that roll and then we'll use like dagger damage. Uh, is, is a dark dagger damage? Cause I could just throw one of those. Uh, yeah, there you go. Just, just make sure. Yeah. Go ahead and, um, I think a dart might be less, but we'll see. Just we'll, we'll figure it yeah, out. as long as we get the attack roll in there, you can always just roll the D4. Oh, that's a failure. Ah, damn. Okay. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah. So she's like, huh, and you're like, and what do you do in response as you catch this dagger? I'm going to like, like, as I can see it coming towards me, I'm going to catch it right before it hits me and go, no, and like talk back <laughs> immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you toss it back her, but like, I mean, you're down a, a few steps of stairs from her. It was past some railing and stuff. So she was like able to sort of skirt across. It was harder for her to hit. Um, it is a good distance too. Like she had disadvantaged as well. So um, it yeah. scatters to somewhere like within around her somewhere. It might take her a second to like locate it if she wanted to. Uh, Orangoth, you're down here. There you are. The suspense is killing me. I can't see anything. Um, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I think I, I think it. you can see Puma and uh, the impassioned male thug that's now completely surrounded by fire. <laughs> I can't um, see nothing being in nope, the back. I can't see anything. Yeah, me, me and Drizzle are blind. To the whole thing. Oh, oh yeah, right, yeah. I was, I was thinking, for some reason, I was clicking on Orangoth. I'm like, you can see, but no, you're back there. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Orangoth, what are you doing? Loud noises. Um, looks like I can't go in through the front there. It's burning with that guy in there. You can, can go, go through, that, through the front. <laughs> can I go through that window to the north there if I get to there? Yeah, looks like the window's already been opened. Uh, well, actually, Puma, did you open it or just like smash through it? We're gonna say Puma smash through it. Uh, I, 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 uh, yeah, because he just kind of let me walk through it, right? So I didn't yeah. know if it was a glass window or not. Yeah, I'll just go there, right there, because okay. it looks safer than going inside the burning part. You saw Puma go in there, and you can like you can kind of see through the window and stuff. So like it, you don't see any fire yet. All right, I think that's I think that's where it was. Uh, yeah, I think you get. I think you get five five more feet, I think, on a normal move. And once again, you can take All the right. dash action. You could get another 30 feet of movement if you wanted. Oh, I can? Oh, yeah, yeah I'll use that. Okay, so you uh, take yeah. your action as the dash action. Uh, go ahead and you can move another 30 feet if you want. I'll go right there. Pop through the window. Oh, my lord, it's burning. Like right there. There you it's go. 20. Yeah, so, somewhere around there. I didn't keep track. Wh whichever one <laughs> of those works. I was there. Yeah, I think you can move one more north if you needed to. Yeah. There you go. All so right. you almost got to her. And I'll just end my turn, right? Uh, and that will be the end of your turn, Yui. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm pretty far. Um and this is a window, right? Uh yes. Right here? Yeah, there's a window right, there. So I'm gonna get as far as I can. I know I can't reach that, but I'm gonna get about right here. Okay, yeah. Um so can I drag them there? Uh or is it not letting me do that still? Uh, you can do, yeah, it's a complicated okay. process, like cl control, drag, and then space bar at the same time to move someone that way. You'll see yeah, bad hair but, and myself uh, use it. It's, it's odd. <laughs> I move right here, and as an action, I would like to use wild shape to okay. change into a dire wolf. A dire wolf. Okay. Yes. Okay, you're going to want stats for that one. Give me one hot second. I kind of a... looked it up already. Uh, let's get you, let's get you a dire wolf. Uh, and we may lag just for a second as I open the, like, 1800 monsters in this compendium. Yeah. <laughs> dire wolf. Dire wolf. 
Let's give him a proper token. There we go. Click OK. Uh, sheet. Give him a monster block sheet because it's easier. Permissions. Uh, Yui. Uh, Red Lemon is an owner for now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, wild shape. There you go. You're a wolf now. Oh shit! You're a big wolf. I forgot they were big. <laughs> uh, but now, if you double click on yourself, you'll notice you now have the stats of a dire wolf. Yay! All right, awesome. This is yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. As a dire wolf, can I talk? Sir? Uh, you language? can bark. <laughs> but can I talk? The. Uh... Not really, no. What? They're just not okay. really built for it. You can like, like, oh, just like and you can like probably making this try to make a sound that's like a affirmative or negative or something, but actual complicated claw, but speech. Say on the floor. Yeah, you're not you're not Scooby Doo. I'm gonna claw what I want to say on the floor then. But uh yeah, that's that's my time. Okay. Uh, impassioned thug, uh, is surrounded by fire and freaking out. Uh, you just, anyone nearby just hears, uh, actually Subaru and Orngoth are the ones most likely to hear. You just hear, <laughs> Uh, Drusmil. <laughs> well, I gotta try and get in there and see what we can see. We gotta try and get the package. Um, maybe... I can double back and hit this window. Or is that a door over there? Somewhere That's a door right there. Right down. There, there. There's yeah, a no, door like right in front down. of you guys. Yeah, but I see there's like a, a window and a set of stairs over here. Right? Like, oh, I can't see that actually. It's so not over there. But we walked by there, so I saw it when we walked by. I don't know. Okay. Go in. <clears throat> I'm going in. Going in. Going in, boys. Good job where I can go. So I can go like right to there? Yep. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, in. that is the wrong tool. <clears throat> yeah, I think you Look, were like now here. Now you disappear. Yeah, that looks like 30 feet right there. Yep. And now you okay. can see some people. Oh man, hello, weird person. No, you. Well, you see one people. <laughs> yeah. The short male runner, they were already pretty short, but this one's extra short. Mm. Uh, notices you coming from behind, and uh, yeah, she, you, she, you hear from her, ah, oh, shit, more! That's right. We're coming, we're gonna get you. <laughs> I'm a coming for you. <laughs> tickle, <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Get coming. <laughs> gonna get the roar. Uh, <laughs> and I, with that, I'll admit. Yeah, you are, unfortunately, this character was not there during the Tickle Championship stuff. Um, Huma. Mm. I see Orin Goth going towards this lady. Mm hmm. All right, he's got. Uh, I'm gonna walk by. Is it still in action if I'm lighting the torch with the already existing flame? No, I'll just give that one to you. Cool. So, uh, sorry, where did I start there? Gesundheit. Where did I start? I think you were right beside the table, yeah. yeah. With the multi-levels, it's not doing that thing where it tells us our starting position anymore. That's the downside. But. Yeah, so that's 40, and then I will dash actions. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, object interaction to open this door. Yeah. Uh, and then can I just drop the to torch as a bonus action? Yeah. Yeah. Well, free action, really, like a non-action. Yeah. Then I'll just uh, like not even toss it, just drop it, and then back out the door. <laughs> okay. More fire. <laughs> I hope you dropped it in the same room as that bug. <laughs> Uh, okay, there you go. Uh, and that is the end of your turn? That's it. Yeah, that's all. Okay. So, uh, the end of your turn is when we do the fire spreading.
we're gonna we're gonna take a couple of these we're gonna we're gonna stop these for a second just to make it a little easier in all of our systems one of these is just gonna be like super big instead of having a whole bunch of tiny ones teach you bastards to try and light our fucking place of business on fire <clears throat> there we go Uh, and then one in here kind of starts going. There we go. Makes it a little bit easier. Uh, and uh, the impassioned male thug from the front room is he's um, he's he's just dead. He's gonna burn horribly to death because he's like stuck in all that fire and he, he's panicking and he's not terribly bright. <laughs> uh, all right, Baka. All right, I will take my. 15 to get inside the door yep. and look and then go another 15 this way okay and then can i hit that male lady with the crossbow from that distance still yeah you should be able to yeah crossbow's well, still a pretty damn good length on it uh crossbow wow. yeah the eight the short distance for a crossbow is 80. 320 is his maximum range. Okay, perfect. Uh, seven, unfortunately, will not hit. Ah, uh, rip. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, you. And uh, that will end my turn. Okay. The short male runner, the last lady that's up here still. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh. You, you know what? She's a feisty little thing. She's just going to come up and try to deal with Orin Goth. Um, go away. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, use the scimitar. And that is a whiff. That is a whiff. Uh, she does get two of them, however. There we go. Uh, hits Orin Goth for nine slashing. So just slashes like sort of rakes down your side across your ribs for a hot second. Um, so Orin Goth will just. Oh, oh, so you did it yourself. Perfect. There we go. Let's not let's not double dip here because <clears throat> you weren't raging or anything, right? So you yeah, you were taking normal. Normal. Uh, OK, next is Orin Goth in retaliation. What you doing? I'm gonna bust out this mace I got here. Okay. Clap around. Gotta move up one. Okay. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, 14 is not quite enough to hit her. Swings and misses. She jumps back. Ah, uh, guess it isn't my turn. All right. Uh, Yui, horse, man, wolf, boy, thing. What are you doing? I will jump through this window as the wolf, boy, horse thing. Okay. Uh, let me make this I'm window sorry, a just... door. <laughs> Uh, I might still need to bring you through because your fat ass is in your horse sized <laughs> dog trying to get through a small window. Um, so hey. it's that's going to take you basically all of your movement <laughs> to get in here. Oh, is it? Uh, well, you, you can, I can say you can move like that far, but because you had to squeeze through the window. Uh, in that case, uh, put me one step back. Okay. I'm just going to next. Next time, I'm just going to go out this window anyway. Okay. All right. Uh, is that it for you? Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. And you see, you like see Puma at the doorway, just like wreathed by fire. I growl at him. Uh, uh, Puma, out of nowhere, this giant ass fucking wolf that you don't recognize, like, pours in through this window, gets, like, stuck in a doggy door that's way too small for it, and then just stands there staring at you across the flames. Uh, hey, furry bruh. <laughs> Drusmil. 
All right. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna make my way down. Okay. Towards my friends here. Yeah. You see, you see Puma there. And yeah, I see, I see Puma. I'll make my way towards Puma. And then you see a big ass scary wolf. And then there's a fucking wolf. <laughs> And I and I just, I just look at Puma and I say, "What what the fuck is that, man?" I don't know, man, but he might want to get out of that room real oh, quick. Holy <laughs> shit! This whole place is going down. Uh, we we gotta we gotta find our package and get out of here, man. Uh, we could just like pull it from the ashes, bro. Don't even worry about it. You think it would be safe? Right. That magical package that's yeah, true that's true okay all right i'm gonna i will end my turn okay puma uh i'm gonna pull out another torch okay light it with the already lit flame yeah i'm gonna walk over to this room yeah i'm gonna toss it in there okay and that that would be the end of your turn uh no i have way more movement uh we're gonna go for this, uh, five, 10, 15, 20 uh 25 oh there's baka yeah this is uh, so lit i t i just hear all this fire just being created i only know about the one i started this the adventuring <laughs> party's fucking fire uh and then i'll use we my lit. dash again to get just to just close the distance so now i'm behind this uh this lady close the distance ah. okay um and That'll be the turn. That'll be the turn. Okay, so at the end of your turn, that is when the fire begins to spread. So give me a second here. Get rid of you. Go over a second, delete you, because they're just combining into big fires. So like one here, one here. I'm gonna actually even like probably basically stop using the small fires is like the big fires just, you know, goes up exponentially, right? More fire makes more fire. <clears throat> okay. I was gonna say, no. -uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then. Uh, oh no! I didn't want to want her this way here, <clears throat> and then say one one going down here. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Fire fucking everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, yeah, and then we go to Baka. Okay, I am going to check to see what is around this corner. Okay, I'm going to go up the stairs. All right. Or is that down? Down, down the stairs. This is, this is a one floor building, but it does have a basement. You're going in the basement. Well, yeah, I, I am. So yep. how many steps was that to get to the stairs? Was that 15? Uh, it was like a full like floor, like 10 feet down. So it was a, like a sort of like a spiral staircase that went down. Okay, so I used basically most of my movement then. Uh, I'd let you move like five more feet in just to see the rest of the room if you want. Okay, um, in this room, you see a powder keg hooked up to a plunger and crates of dynamite. Interesting. Which Can I put I... in there before I realized you were going to light the building on fire. Perfect. Um, <laughs> can I draw a card? Oh my oh! god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how do I uh, go about Give that? Give me a second um... here. Give me a second. Let me uh, let me ring up a deck of many <laughs> things. Uh, is this up to date? I think it is. Uh, all right. Uh, it is just, uh, I just click the, the draw thing here. Makes it easier. Uh, actually, is there, is there just a chart? Like a many things, 5e chart. Should have looked this one up ahead of time, knowing you had the fucking deck of many things, of course. <laughs> Gotta be like an easy chart somewhere. Deck of many things. They all have it like if you have like if you actually roll here we are tiles. 
can draw deck size, the 22 size deck. Yes, please. You're drawing one card? Yes, one card. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to roll it. Okay. Uh, uh, 16. Yeah, not, no, 16. not 16 or 22. Uh, those were fun. Okay. Um, this no doesn't affect you because we're not using experience. So I'm not gonna ma- I'm not gonna make you de-level your character because they normally lose ten thousand experience. Oh wow! Uh, oh here we go. Okay, uh, when you made your character, did you determine what sort of alignment your character had as far as like evil, neutral, good, lawful, chaotic, that type of thing? Just She's just as rough guidelines. Neutral for sure. Neutral. Chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. I'd probably Chaotic say. neutral. Okay, you are now lawful neutral, and now have this inborn personality that you wish to follow c- codes, structure, organization, etc. You no longer embrace oh. chaos. Okay, so I follow it to the T. Gotcha. Yeah, it d- doesn't mean that you follow the laws. It just means you follow a lawful personality, an organized personality. You just you you are abhor chaos. You're the opposite. Your your personality has been flipped. Gotcha. Um and yeah, you drew a card. All right. Uh, short mail runner. Back to the ground floor. Uh. Uh. She sees Puma come up behind her. And yeah, she uh. Uh, do you gonna do this? Uh, she yells, trying to sneak up behind me, are you? Take this! Slash! For nine slashing damage. Huh. Uh, and then she's gonna look at Oren and be like, I haven't forgot about you! And misses very badly. <laughs> oh, dizzy. Uh, all right. Save Lance, though. What a hero. Yeah, really. Uh, Orangoth. Uh, take another swing with the mace. Okay. Trying to beat on her. Take this, little girl. Uh, unfortunately, 11 is not enough. You swing with the mace, and she just kind of, like, Matrix dodges it. She's like... Phew. Um, she is a dexterous. Keep missing. And I'll probably send my turn. Okay. I love how my screen, like, I click on your guys to see, like, your point of view, and anything not in your point of view, it looks like billowing smoke instead of the flames. It actually turns out quite nicely. Anywho, uh, wolf man horse. <laughs> yeah, you're right on the edge of, of the, of the stuff. Uh, I'll open this back up. Um, also, I can change this this window into you know a what? door. Okay, so I want to make a confession. This whole time, that's been the sound effects of this game. I seriously thought I had ghosts in this house. You're <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm gonna go through this window. Here. Uh, okay. Uh, here, I'll and, I'll uh, drag you through. Do you you manage to fit your fat out, ass through it? Out of my fifty movement, how much do I have? Uh, um. I'm gonna give you if you're like still heading towards the back, maybe about there. Um, and okay. you can still take your action to dash, so you still can use your entire movement again. Okay, I can dash. Yeah, yeah. Anyone, okay. anyone can um, take the dash action. Um, we're just rogues get it as a bonus action as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did say uh, that. Yeah, um, but you're a druid, so you just get it as your normal action. Okay, then um. Hold on, I'm trying to measure, I'm sorry. And hiccup at the same time. I moved to, is there a window here? I think there's a window here. I don't know, is there a window there? Um, I'll move right here then. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh... God damn it. <laughs> Peeking around the corner, yeah, it does look like there's a window right here. Uh... Oh, could I move here then? Yep. Right here. Uh, let me... Is this a door? This is now a door. 
Okay. I'm not squeezing in, but I can look through it, right? Thing. Yeah, you can you should be able to see through it. Yep. Then I'll use a uh, And it's it's actually mm. like large size, so you can actually jump through, through this sucker without wasting extra movement. Oh, okay. Like it's a big window. Then I'll do, that's what I'll do then. Okay, so there you go. Woo! Smoosh. <laughs> Um, I'm, I guess I'm done. I okay. might go down the stairs. So big old wolf just like <laughs> um, through the window. Got it. Uh, Drusmil. Where the hell are you? I'm down here. I'm gonna use my movement to get up oh, over the there. door. And, yeah, and get away from this fucking flame so I it's don't like, die. Oh god! <laughs> Got it. All right. And that's all I can do. Uh, you can dash to move again. Oh, I can dash to move again? Yeah, everyone can okay, do it. Yeah. Uh, so then I will do that, actually. Uh, and get up. Get up over over to here. All right. Woo. I want to make my way over towards that back window we passed. There you go. All right, Puma. Puma, Puma. Puma gonna slap it with the Puma. Mm-hmm. Oh, failure. Wow. Uh, you gonna use your bonus action attack or, or like, um, flurry? I, th- I, I don't think I can make them if I don't make the first strike, right? I can, I can do the, 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 Oh, you don't have to hit with the first one. You can still do the bonus action attack or the flurry. I'm pretty oh. sure. I pretty sure. To... Give me just a second here, just to be sure. Um, maybe you do. I haven't played a monk in like forever, and I only played one once, <laughs> so Please I'm not just... as familiar with monks. Um, when you use an attack action with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon of your choice, you can make one unarmed strike as a bonus action. Oh, yeah, I don't have to hit with the first one. There you go. It's just conditional on whether I swung with a, a monk yeah, weapon or not. Yeah, as long as you made the okay. attack. Six, 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 six. Punch her in the <clears> face. Six. Pow. There you go. That hits. That hits. Go ahead and do damage. Five, that is enough to, uh, what are you doing? Are you killing her or, or just knocking her out? Um, she turned around to like slash me and then turned back around to Orangoth to try and slash him, right? Yeah. The moment she turns around, I'm going to grab her by her leg, like the hair in between her pigtails and smash her face on the ground. Okay. All right. Is this with enough force to like end her? Yes. Okay. Like, you, if, if, it, if, if it did, if I didn't like cave her skull in, it definitely snapped her neck. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So she's, she's ended. She is done. Awesome. Um, okay. Uh, we will move to the end of your turn uh, where we are still using the fire. Fire. Oh, sorry. No, I, I do want to move. Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, God. Getting the fuck out of here. Getting. <laughs> uh, Deuces. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 35, 40. I can get right to the door. <laughs> now, that, now I'm done. Okay, great. Uh, all right. So at the end of your turn, that's when we're going to. That's when uh, things are going to happen. Okay, so this is going to spread. Spray it. Spray. It's just like here. Those rooms are entirely filled now. Uh, let's let's make one more like here too. There we go. Uh, good good shit. All right, Waka. Okay, so with mine, I'm going to take movement down to this, what looks like dynamite. Okay. And can I take all of this dynamite as an item for later use? Uh, There is now a loot thingy here for you. Okay, perfect. Uh, Oh, shit. Uh, Helps if I actually, like, give you permissions and do stuff. One second. It's like, here you go. Can't see it. Um... (laughs) Sorry, it's supposed to be one of those, one of the... 
Uh, and I actually forgot to put the dynamite in the thing. Uh, so there was uh, 12 of those. Two of those. <clears throat> oh, and actually giving you permissions. Way to be a GM. There we go. Okay, you should be able to see in it now, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. And I will take it all. Yeah, so that was uh, one powder keg with plunger, two bundles of dynamite, and 12 sticks of dynamite. Perfect. Yeah. It would help if I actually typed out the number instead of just taking one. Perfect, perfect. And then with the rest of my movement, I will get to the front of the door. Okay. Oh, I should probably select my guy. And then I will, for a bonus action, use dash so I can go another 30 feet, right? Um, you... Or is it are you an empty? artificer? Yes. Oh, yeah, you won't have a bonus action dash. That's just a rogue thing. Okay, never mind then. I will... Um, end my turn then. Okay, and uh, you get a free item interaction... Well, actually, yeah, because you took your turn to loot everything. You get a free item interaction to do things like open doors and stuff. Okay, then I'll open this door. Okay, great. Uh, the door seems to be locked and a trap triggers. One second here. Oh, my lovely oh, God. God. <laughs> God. God. The same guy as always. Yours truly. <laughs> Every okay, fucking listen. time. Okay, you Save. made it. You're going to take half damage as this, like, explosive concussive force happens. And so you're going to take half. You take three points of thunder damage. Three points of thunder damage. As, uh, like, you go to, like, use the door. It's it's locked. And then you see these glyphs suddenly appear that you didn't see it there before. And then they sort of burn away. And there's this... And, uh, and like, you're, like, knocked for a second. You're like, oh! Uh, but you didn't actually get knocked back, and you took half damage. Sure. Uh, good times. Uh, next. Should should have seen the setup. Uh -huh. Oh, you can open doors, you know. Oh yeah. Well, thanks for letting. Uh huh. Yep. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm not here to make your life oh. easy. Orin Goth. That's what I do. <laughs> I will play mind games. People that play my games know that I play mind games. You haven't heard some of the stories. I love it. Ugh. Oh, gosh. I don't know if there's a second way downstairs, but... Uh, you What's think it, you huh? see to the the northwest of you, to your left, is that's, that's railings you think leads to stairs. You're not entirely sure from your vantage point, but you think it might. I could just risk it. Jump through the fire. And you see, you see another window up there at the very least, which I will preemptively turn into an openable window. I can't really see, but I'll just go through the fire. Yeah, that's up to you as well. Oh, <laughs> I'm just in a spit. Oh, I'll do it from there. Yeah, if yeah. you if you bonus if you're a sir if you uh action dash you can get to like much further. You could like All right, I'll I'll do that. I'll just run and jump to the fire. Right there? Uh that's that's 45 feet right there. So you you've got like 60, 60 feet. You can get as far as there if you want to. I'll go uh, there. And you see Puma standing like right in front of the door. Okay, uh, so that was your action. That was your movement. Uh, and you also see this big honking wolf just standing there, uh, having just smashed through a window. Y Yui, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, well, I smashed this window. They can escape from it now. So I'll just woof at him. And uh, is that Bakken? Yeah, I think I see him a little bit, but I just don't see his token. Uh, he's technically below you. That's you. It, it oh, glitches. It glitches a bit if you kind of half see someone or whatever. Sometimes you can still see the people below you if they're another well, player. I just wolf at uh, Orin Goth and then hop out this window. <laughs> okay. And I'll just make my way over. Hold on. I'm trying to see how much speed I have actually of movement. How far I can get. I was like right here. 
Like Is that a giant wolf? I'm gonna just get right here next to him. Uh, yeah. Cause you got what, 40, 50? Yeah, 50, yeah. 50 will bring you right next to him. Okay. So go, go ahead and bring yourself All over. All he sees is just this giant ass wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> running at so like Drew Smith, just this wolf, just like, <laughs> just comes right the right up to my, your uh, face. What I use my you? action. I use my action to write in in the ground with my paw. You we. Okay. Yeah, I'll allow it. And so yeah, the wolf like with the big claw from the paw just like writes Yui in the dirt. I didn't know that you could change form. Uh yeah, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean it, Yui's already part of other creatures anyways. Uh Drus Mill. Well Yeah, I'm already half creatures. <laughs> much as I'd love to talk with you, my wolfy friend. I need to continue making my way over to this window door over here, and then I can I could use my dash, right? Or no, I don't have that. You can use your action to dash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I use my action. I get another thirty feet. That is correct. Yep. Whoop. Where would I go then? I can yep. go into here. Sure. Wow. Hmm. I'm coming to help. I can delete this mail right now. I can't. I can't like look around on these tables for any packages right now, can I? Um, you can take a quick glance and stuff. You you just see mostly mostly just mail, letters, and stuff like that. Mm. Um, maybe the odd small package, not the type of thing that would have been described to you, which was a fairly decent sized bundle. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm good. I'm gonna end my turn there. Okay. Puma. Here you are. Uh, I, at this point, I mean, I think we've done a pretty good job of fucking this place up, and I'm still very confident that the, the magical Good. package is going to be fine, so I'm just going to step outside at this point. Just hang out. Say hi to my wolf friend here. Be like, yo, what's up, furry dude? I shoved dirt at him. Okay, all right. Uh, and then at the end of your turn, more fire. Um... Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna get burned alive in the basement. I'm gonna space these out a little bit more because I don't want to like overwhelm everybody. Um. Okay. A little, little less there because that is a stone floor. But uh, this part's gonna suck. There we go. <clears throat> Basically, all of the areas that had wood floor are just on fire now. It's all, it's all on fire. <laughs> Basically, the entire building that was uh, is on fire. Uh, Baka! All right, so is this door unlocked now? After I've set off this trap? No. Uh, can I uh, use... Do I have lockpicking things to um, uh, lockpick it? I believe so. Let me make sure... The thieves tools. Let me make sure your set is proficient. Okay, you should be. There we go. Okay, so what do I need to do to lockpick it then? Uh, just in your inventory, the thieves tools. Just click to, click on it to roll it, and that'll that'll roll your your lockpicking. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, is that accurate? Yeah, that is that is accurate. Uh, twelve is not enough. The door, unfortunately, seems to be a rather tough lock. Cause in height. All right. Um, I will just end my turn because I'm gonna try it again next turn. Okay. Orangoth, you doing anything? You are you're surrounded by fire. You think you can still make it out of um, the door without having to walk through fire if you want though? Yeah, I was, I was gonna jump out the window. But I'll just go out the door. Come on, went out. Okay. I'll just go vibe with them over there. Yeah. Yeah, do it up. 30. There we go. There we go. So you're just outside. outside watching the building light up. Like parts of the roof now are starting to even like emit small bits of flame. It's caught fast because you did excel. You guys accelerated it. Like you just like well, once the fire starts, of course, it's like an exponential process. More fire makes more fire. 
Uh, yeah. Good times. Was that my turn? All uh, right. Yui, doing anything? Um, I'm going to sit down here and just howl at the... <laughs> just howl. Okay. I don't even know how on fire the building is above me. I'm howling at the fire. <laughs> just... I'm... I'm- I'm glad it's I'm working sure. out. I was a little worried you were going to still see the fire bits even if you're downstairs, but I'm glad you don't. It makes you feel safe. No. Gives you a, <laughs> a sense of safety. There's no fire. Everything is fine. There's no fire. Um. Okay. So, Yui, that is sure. that is it for you. It shouldn't spread downstairs. Oh, it should be fine. Okay. Drew's mill. That, I don't even want to go up the stairs I came up so, or came Notice, down. <laughs> Noticing that the fire is quickly spreading behind me, I give a second yeah. glance to the staircase before... It's slowed a little to... bit, like it's catching from table to table, but you notice the stone floor, obviously, is not lighting on fire, but there are wooden walls, so... Yeah, uh, I noticed that uh, it, it seems to be spreading quite rapidly, so I decide to abandon hope oh, and just get the fuck up out of there. Awesome. And... Got my deck of cards at least. And uh, then I'll. Maybe you can escape with I'll it. Use, I'll use my extra action and my action to dash and uh, get myself the rest of the way over towards the rest of the crew here. Okay. Oh, I'm like. Am I currently the only one in Hi, the guys! Building? You have no <laughs> idea. No. Yeah, I was about to say, I guess I don't get to know that information. Don't worry about it. You're safe. You're fine. <laughs> Warning! Everything's okay. Out. Oh, bad hair. I don't like you right now. I know. I know. <sighs> Trust me, did you see Baka in there? Puma! Oh, Puma. Go, go ahead and do your RP bit. Uh, Puma's gonna take a, a... Like, pull a bottle seemingly out of nowhere and take a nice big swig of it. And then, like, go to offer something to the wolf, like, uh, you do this. The wolf just, with his big ass tongue, I'm to just devours the bottle <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna like like deep throating it he's just gonna like kind of like shove the bottle down his throat and just pour okay and then he's gonna pet him on the head and be like this is a beautiful fire man i mean, he's just gonna howl <laughs> okay we're uh so at the end of your turn we're gonna do an experiment i want to see what happens when i start spreading the fire into the basement <laughs> oh no <laughs> Yikes! Okay, so if Damn, I wish I was I, I, I okay. stuck between this fire. I, oh no! Okay, yeah, I think it's working. I think you just see some fire downstairs, but like you guys aren't seeing like extra double fires upstairs. Um, oh, man, so that's good news for me. me. This water pipe yeah, that that you is that is good news for me. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Yeah, so that was at the end of Puma. Now it's spreading slowly because obviously, like, there's just fires licking down the stairs. You're in a stone room filled with dynamite. Um, so you well, should be the, fine. The dynamite's in my pouch, at least. I mean, I did take it all. That's true, yes. That's uh, yeah, and the moment you go through that fire, though, it's going to explode. So, Baka, okay. he, here you are at this door, like, hurriedly, like, come on, open, come on, open. Um, I'm gonna put my hands together and say a prayer, and I'm gonna open my inventory and okay. try to lockpick this door. <laughs> okay, all right, we got some Madonna playing in the background. You pray. Mm. <clears throat> oh, there you yeah, go. You preach. you needed a high roll. It was an 18 DC for this door, um, but oh. it does it does unlock. And I'm going to travel through it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and you can open it whenever you want to open it. Do I got to click on it to open it? You click on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys can open that your own doors. Sick. Yeah. If that no- noise right there, that freaks me out. Uh, <laughs> actually, we're going to pause for one second. You're the one person that would notice this because you have a, a very, you have a fairly high, actually, you would probably notice it too. You have a fairly high um, passive perception uh you think to the north wall of you just just north northwest of you um you th- there's something funny with that wall just letting you know uh can i examine that yes wall, as a wolf i have a good perception uh if you go up to, yeah if you if you go up say here i'll, I'll move you there okay. for a second um you think this is actually a doorway of some kind you even see like a little button thing i will press the button 
Okay, I uh, will give that to you as your one last like item interaction, and uh, yeah, a door opens. All right, and then how much? How many? I have like what twenty feet left. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I've moved from the door five ten. Yeah, you've moved fifteen. Five. You got fifteen left. All right, so I will step through the door, and can I examine what's what I see? Yeah, yeah, like you can get as far room. as that. Um, yeah, uh, there appears to be a storage room of some kind, maybe. Okay. Um, is there any way to check like these boxes in the area for like since I have fifteen more movement? I guess I could get to like right there. Can I check these boxes in the area for the package? Uh, you've already done a lot. You've opened several doors and you've okay, kind of so moved around. Plus, you unlocked yep, yep. the door. I will end my turn then. Okay. All right. Uh, Orangoth. I think what are you just chilling vibe. He's gonna chill. Okay. Chill. Just watch the building burn with the the big giant wolf. Yeah, I mean you see most of your party, so you're around somewhere. Uh, Yui. Ow! <laughs> I'm worried about Baka down there. Oh. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna move over. Get a little bit close to everyone. Yeah, come over here. All right. I'm gonna ask ask anyone if they've got any drink. This is the best campfire ever. <laughs> Damn your GM complication. Do All right. Uh, yes. Puma. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm. Just, I mean, we're still. Uh, I think at just this chilling. point, it's just Baka. It's, Dig it's just Baka. Like yeah. That the rest of us are just fucking chillax and watching this place burn the fuck Okay, down. I'm just Let I'm just gonna die. end oh, I'm just gonna end combat and we're just gonna go like round by round figuring out what Baka's doing. The fire maybe slowly spreading as we're going. Um so let's go back to the basement here. Baka! Um by the way, I don't know if it's just it's a glitch in my screen. Are you seeing like your party members around you accidentally? I, yeah. Yeah, I am. You are? Okay, yeah. They yeah. shouldn't be there above you. Um, I figured so. I just I'm not sure why they're showing up, but it's fine. It, that's, At it, first, I thought Pumbaa was an, an enemy when I entered the room, yeah. and I was like, oh, okay, we're good. Yeah. It did that. Well, you last know, the same week. thing, yeah, it did it last week, too. Yeah. yeah. I just thought that was just part of the mechanic. Like, we, that's we just could, what happened. We, when we could see um, Maz. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's weird. Okay. I'll have to I'll do some more testing and see if I can figure that out. Um, but yeah, so. Can I check this area for the package now? Uh, yes. Go ahead and roll an investigation check for me, please. Okay, investigation. Oh. Is that in checks or? Uh, that is a skill. Skill. Okay. Oh no. So unfortunately, uh, that was not enough. Um, oh yeah, you're in. not great at it. I guess I will move my 30 feet and then uh, I guess what would end my turn and then do another investigation check. All right. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, up above and down below. Okay. We're going to spread to there. There. And down below, it's going to start coming through the ceiling. There. And there. Uh, you have thankfully already taken all of the dynamite out of that area. And we'll say that as well. Okay. And then another investigation, I take it? Yep, hit it. Oh uh, my goodness, I just need to get out of here. No, don't, no, just things of, cr uh, crates of, of mail. Alright, um, I'm gonna pull a card. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Arca. Bad hair, you were, you were, you made bad examples. <clears throat> I'm trying to go easy on him because you're GN complication, but he, he's doing this. Not me. I don't care about him. I, I want to go down there and rescue him. I just want to care about him. 
Uh, okay, uh, this actually might be helpful to you. Meditate on a question, you receive a truthful answer and the knowledge to use it. So, um, you get one, a one-sentence question with which to ask me. Where is the package? To the south of you. Got it. In, uh, I'll, you know, it says it with the knowledge, is it to the south of you in the sacrifice room? Okay. All right, um, with that, I will end my turn. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, the fighter is still, it's spreading slowly because it's all stone here, but there's other stuff that's flammable. So, yeah, uh, what are you doing? I'm going to move my 30 feet, so there's 10, 20, 30, and then I can go another 30 for my action, right? Yep. One, two, can I check this door for traps? Uh, is that an action? No, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you, like okay. a quick cursory. So roll a perception check for me. Uh, it's a skill okay. check. Perception. Where is perception? Performance. Pers oh, there it is. Duh. Seems clear. Yep. <laughs> okay, I will then... So that was 10 feet, so I will mm -hmm. open the door. Okay. Fire here. Nope, okay. No save okay. necessary. <laughs> Is that too far? I didn't. Uh, that, that's good. If you want to go there, that's fine. Okay. I didn't measure. That's fine. Can I still open this door? Is that too much? Uh, no, you've uh, you've you already used um, actions and item interactions and stuff. So that's pretty much as far as All you right. can go um, on that and turn. turn then. So then, um, I mean, fire is still spreading, but that's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, screaming coming from that room. That's dying. And we're going to say this, this kind of like went. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Baka, what do you want to do on well, your solo I adventure? To... <laughs> I want to check this door for traps. So perception again. Yeah, go ahead and roll a perception for me, please. Yeah, that looks looks clear. Okay, gonna open it, and it appears to be locked. All right. Oh. So this looks like an even I... fancier lock than the other door. Oh man. So I would need. I'm getting. I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> okay. Yep. So there's ten. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Okay. Oh, the, of course there's fire. Okay. Um, can I set dynamite on this door and blow it up or on this wall? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, do you, what, what do you want to use? You've got three different explosives on you now or three different kinds. Mm, I will use a dynamite stick. Okay. So one so. one stick of dynamite. Uh, okay, so you can roll it. Yeah, and then we'll uh, what we'll do is I'll. Um, I mean, where do you want to go? Well, when the dynamite goes off, where do you want to stand? Uh, I want to stand like back on the stairs, like back down to the. Basement. Okay, so the dy the dynamite's not bad. It's actually a fairly low range. It's that square plus like every square around it, basically. Okay, so I'll uh, just back up to the okay. stairs. Uh, so two d six thunder. Uh, we could we roll that so we can roll that. Okay, it's not letting me roll it, so I'll just do. Um, oh shit, near max. Um, and um, there's like a cracking in the wall, but it's not enough that it actually makes a hole in it yet. Because um, that's it's a stone wall down here, or it's a stone it's a stone wall. Like it's it's wood on the inside, but it's stone on the outside. Then I guess I will end my turn. Uh, okay, all right. Um, fire's not spreading, like, it, in the wood section, that's fucked. Uh, you're in, thankfully, the stone half, so it's not really spreading. It's just the table's on fire. Um, what, did okay. you, what would you want to do? Can I, so I can, like, walk through in between those tables and then around that fire and jump out the window, correct? Yeah, I'd give that to you. All right, then I will do that. Do, 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 do. Okay. So with that, you were going to successfully make it out of the burning building. Having uh, yep. at least attempted to complete the mission objective of get the package back. Uh, 
Good job so far, GM says sarcastically. Um, yeah. So it's here that you are standing in front of your results of Grand Arson. Um, now there was a official war declared, so you know that you probably are legally within your rights to burn down this post office, as is normal. It is the post office, after all. Um, yeah. What are you doing as you watch this building burn down? Uh, like, no one in the organization like left to, alive. I like to transform back. Okay. Into uh, Yui. Okay, yeah. Uh, cards. Yeah, uh, we'll transform you back. Player character, the Yui. Restore. Okay, you are back All to right. being you. All right. Then I like to say to Puma... Are you sure this package will make it out of here alive? Would have made it out of here alive um, with the fire? <clears throat> Puma looks up and kind of chuckles and goes, uh, Nope. <laughs> Jesus Would a, Christ. Uh, short yeah. rest to be beneficial to us? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're just chilling there for an hour. Just, just sitting around watching. Yeah. Before we do down, the rest, so. I want to let the group know that I drew a card and found out that the the package was south in the sacrificial room. Sacrificial room. Okay. Mm. Down in the basement. Sacrificial. Yep. And yeah, anyone that wants to can take a short rest. You're going to be there for a while. Uh, the fire brigade actually takes like forever to show up. The building's basically a lost cause. Do we recover it, any health on rest? Uh, on a short rest, yes, you can use what's called your hit dice. Each of you have three hit dice, depending on your classes, how big the hit dice are. Um, basically, it's what you would have rolled for your hit points. So if you're a barbarian, they're like D12s. Or if you're a wizard, they're like D6s. Um, when you take your short rest, I think there's a thing in there to roll for it. I'm not sure. I forget. Um, but you can spend yes, anywhere from... Well. Oh, there you go. Like well, that? You can spend anywhere from one to three hit dice. And it should heal it automatically for you when you roll. There you oh, go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it did. Hey, -o. Man, I tried so hard to get the package, guys. <laughs> I, I wouldn't give well, up hope yet, <clears throat> man. Like, yeah, I wouldn't give up hope. It's underground, so I don't think it'll burn, especially if it's in this oh. room. Any of you guys good at... Uh, Unlocking doors because there's a very, very special lock down there that I couldn't get through. Oh, I got the building's it. on fire. I could try to kick it down with my hooves. It's there's a good thing that there weren't any like bombs or anything in there because uh, that would have been. Oh, there's. This is speaking easy, of that, bro. Speaking of that, I got dynamite I found down in the basement. Good thing I took that out with me. Oh, it's wild. A lot of dynamite. Several bundles of dynamites, 12 sticks of dynamite, and a powder keg. <laughs> yeah. So what do we do now? We just sit here and wait? Okay. I guess so. Uh, with that, we're going to go back to the main screen, hopefully. Foundry, what are you doing to me? It's not even working for me. I'm a weef with. Okay, well, we're ending from the night anyway, so this is a good timing, I guess, for it to suddenly decide it hates me. Um, uh, so, yes, uh, wrong one, chatting. Um, with that, you guys watch as the building collapses in on itself. The fire brigade doesn't have the resources to stop it. He's, they're just letting it burn. And you even hear this one guy, he's got like this like really bushy mustache and he's covered in soot despite having not actually been in the fire yet. Looks at you and goes, oh man, this is going to take like weeks to clear if anyone even wants to do it. Um, and yeah, we are going to end the scene as we pull out. It is super late in the day, pretty much in the in night, and the biggest source of light around being the gigantic bonfire of the opposing post office as we sort of pull out, um, almost GTA style, like, um, once again looking at the fire down below and, and sort of a, a marker there saying that's where the package was. Um, and then we fade to black, and that is the scene for tonight. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. So, hey.
<laughs> you guys. That was fun. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out how this works now. Thank you. Uh, you had a little easier time there at the end. Thanks to Bad Hair Gaming redeeming the GM complication. You can you can thank him for that. Of course, you had a tougher you. time in the first place because of Quick Quick doing the player complication. I need you to, to start streaming more this week so that I can uh, gain more points because I'm starting <laughs> to run low, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I plan on doing some more. Oh, I wasn't sure when you were streaming. I didn't want to step on toes and stuff, so... I'm going to be doing a lot of candy making this week, so we can collaborate and make a, a fairly good schedule. Okay, all right, cool. With that, that is the end of Postmasters for tonight. Thank you for any, anyone that joined us, anyone that's still in the chat. Um, talking with Adam, you've been you've been super vocal tonight, which is super appreciated. Uh, thank you for everyone joining. It was a good session. Um, I need to still get around to editing the YouTube video descriptions. I have everyone's tags and stuff and organize them in a playlist. I'm sorry that I haven't yet, but check them in the future. I will have everyone's tags in there. Um, but I mean, everyone, especially Bad Hair Gaming has uh, always helped me out a lot. But check out everyone's names uh, for various YouTube, um, Twitch channels. Looking for them. Good times. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe follow which depending on whether you're watching this on youtube or twitch right now um all of that good stuff um as as what's his face on tiktok says follow me you fucking idiots and uh, all that good times so <laughs> stay healthy stay safe have yourself a good one eh? and with bye. that we are, we are bye. i'm remembering this time i forget who yells at me we are going to raid somebody <laughs> i'm remembering <laughs> I remember. Okay, so we're we're not we're not done yet. We're gonna raid somebody. Let's see. Let's see who who do we got going? Who do we got going on here? Let's check friends first. Friendos, friendos. Oh, Kid Hop is streaming. Can you raid yourself? Uh, kid Hop uh, streaming Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, yeah, Kid is streaming. Kid, kid, the kid, the kid, the kid, the kid, the kid. Uh, oh, I was I was looking in the Discord, and you know I didn't see it in the Discord, but uh, I probably have that followed on. Oops. I've been following a lot of people. If I can help it, yeah, Kid Brawl, Final Fantasy. Here we are. Yo, there we go. There we go. Okay, so let me go to the <laughs> interface. Krita. Okay, raid channel. Let's get ready for this shit. All right, everyone getting ready for this shit. Let's go do a raid. Thank you for joining. We are going to have some good times. Once again, have a good one. There we go. And we should be ready now. <laughs>